Okay, wait. I gotta go on this other social media platform. We are live. YouTube. Oh, Jesus is live. What? Are they covering, uh... No, he hasn't been on. I think he's been at work or something. I don't know. Unless he oh. got kicked out. Oh, he saw we were live and he cut his stream off. <laughs> he was literally just live. And he said he went live 10 minutes ago. He has to tune in for us. Well, he's probably like, you know what? I'll come to them. Yeah. We're expecting you, Chico. Some guy made a... Uh, uh, some guy. He made a Shrek game in Unreal 5 where you, like, beat up um, Gingerbread Men and Pinocchio and stuff. I Good. downloaded it before. It's pretty funny. Good. The Alchemist is here. Mr. Patriot Joel is here. What's up, guys? Yo, Thanks what's going on, guys? So I saw the Flash, not the whole movie, towards the end. They pretty much uh, meme the ending. <laughs> I won't spoil it unless you want me to. But there you go. So should I delete RetroArch and stuff off my Series S now? That doesn't work. I don't know. Jin, what's up, Mister Patriot? To uh, Patriot Toll. Patriot Joel is tired. <laughs> Fuck that movie, says Alchemist. Did you see it? Oh, jeez. It wasn't bad. I, Michael Keaton's the best part of the film. It can't be that bad if Michael Keaton's in it. But I guess if you're going in there for a serious movie and you see that, like maybe you'll be pissed. I don't know. Dude, it was like, um, what was that movie, Avengers, where Spider-Man just randomly showed up and everyone went nuts? Yeah. It's like a fucking dollar store version of that fight at the end. <laughs> <laughs> It's so bad that DC has become the dollar store version of Marvel. <laughs> it always has been. DC Comics, I, mean, I, I used to call it Dick Comics. I never liked it as much as Marvel, but I like their animated stuff. They're, it's not like the only good thing they have. Jack Nicholson was not in the film because he's retired. But Nicolas Cage as Superman was in the film, ironically <laughs> enough. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. And uh, a couple of other Batman were in the movie. Nicolas Cage. The movie, the ending is a funny ass meme. If you guys want to know it, let me know. I'll tell you. I can't believe they did that. I can't believe it either. I saw that and I was fucking, I was laughing my ass off. I was pissed at, I was pissed for one reason, but th it was smoothed over with the ending. The ending was like a fucking troll ending, and they knew it. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. They knew that. exactly what they were doing, and they knew they knew what was going on. I didn't pay. I'm not giving Ezra Miller a dollar. Keaton's portrait, great. That alchemist. I've been waiting thirty years for Michael Keaton to come back. Uh, thirty-four he years. His role. Can you imagine thirty-four years later this guy comes back? That is pretty nuts. And he doesn't even look that old. No, he looks exactly the same. But he's got to be like in his 60s or 70s. Do you guys want to know the ending? Type um, a one in the chat if you want, if, if you're okay with that. Oh, yeah, he's 71. Somebody just left because they didn't want to hear the ending. Hey, it says he's going to be in Aquaman. So something must happen. Well, Aquaman scenes were cut from this film, I heard. Interesting. They should have done a new Batman with Keaton. They did. They they were going to do Batman Beyond with Michael Keaton. And Michelle Pfeiffer was going to return as Catwoman in that one. Wow. But James Gunn fucking canceled it. Piece of shit. 
Let's make a new movie. He wasn't uh, too busy fucking up Marvel, huh? He did good with Marvel, but then I don't know what happened. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys the ending to The Flash. It's fucking funny. I don't know what's going on with The Flash. I wasn't really paying attention. So, Michael Keaton, they're in the final fight or whatever. Michael Keaton, what's the name of that, the the, the bat? I, there's a name for it. I forgot what the fucking name it, uh, of it was. Is it Nightwing? I know that Robin stole the name later on, but... What's the uh, the flying bat? Batwing. The Batwing. So he's in the Batwing and he can't get out. He crashes and just fucking explodes. That was a nod to the Nolan ending. So the Flashes feel bad, so they run back. Like five minutes before he crashes. And they save him. But then, I don't know if it's Zod. Somebody at the fucking end just kills him. And he, he has like a peaceful death on the ground. And and then they're like, fuck, we gotta go save him again. And then they remembered what he said in the movie. He's like, no matter what you do, like it's gonna happen. So they agreed that if we save him again, he's just gonna get killed again. Um... Some other guy shows up, kills one of the Flashes. The other Flash kills that guy. Or no, because he killed the one Flash, it killed that guy. Because I guess that guy would never exist without that Flash. So then the Flash like resets everything. to nor- He sets everything back to normal. Eli, you're going to like this. Okay? If you didn't see it. So he's like, oh shit, I gotta be at the courthouse. So he goes to the courthouse. Everything's done with the case. I don't even know what's going on. Because again, I wasn't following him. I was more worried about Michael Keaton. So I'm pissed that Michael Keaton died. But he went to the courthouse. Then he gets a call from Batman. From Bruce Wayne. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Excuse me. It's definitely Michael Keaton on the phone. He's like, oh, I'm so glad. The next time I see you, he goes, I'm pulling up right now to the courthouse. You see this nice-ass, like, Batmobile-looking Cadillac pull up? And he gets out of the car, but you don't see his face? Yo. And they trolled everybody. They memed everybody. They trolled everybody. Who walks up to the Flash? It's George fucking Clooney. And the (laughs) Flash says the F word. The Flash goes, who the fuck are you? You're not Batman. And George Clooney smiles in the fucking movie. And, yo, when you... that was fucking <laughs> funny. That was, it had me, that smoothed over the Keaton death. I was like, okay, they got you. And they know they got you. Everyone in the theater was fucking probably dying laughing. Because that, George Clooney is the worst Batman ever. Everyone knows that. But the Flash I'm, literally says fuck. Yeah, that's when you wrote he it goes, out. Who the I thought fuck that was are you? you saying that? No, he says, <laughs> who the fuck are you? You're not Batman. <laughs> and Clooney's smiling at him. And then it, just oh goes, my God. it fades to the credits. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad that they were at least self-aware. No, nah, they knew what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was, like, the best ending. That's, like, the best ending you could go with. Because nobody was expecting Clooney to show up. Nobody. But I, Eli, I, I Eli they, showed, they showed Nicolas Cage as Superman a few times, Eli. Oh. They showed fucking, um... Who's the, the Superman that got crippled? Oh, Christopher Reeve. They showed Christopher Reeve as Superman. Flying around. What? No way. And they show Supergirl from the 80s. They didn't have Adam West, like, CGI'd somewhere? I didn't see that. Oh. That's crazy. What, did they CGI Christopher Reeve? Or they just use, like, footi- old footage? No, they CGI'd him. That's crazy. Because he died, like, 
a Dang. long ass time ago. Like yeah. I think way before we were born. Not way before we were born. He got crippled in ninety six. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm <laughs> thinking of um I'm thinking of that other guy. Um oh, I can't think of his name. There's another guy I was thinking of that got crippled and then died, but he died in like the sixties. You're right. He this guy died in two thousand four. So they had footage of him. It was cool. I'm not into the Flash. And the one, the other Flash didn't have a costume. So Michael Keaton gave him like an old bat suit he doesn't use. And you see him, he's cutting the ears off the suit and he spray paints it. And then he just spray paints the, the lightning bolt over the bat logo. <laughs> like it's such a bootleg looking costume. And then they make reference to when you would buy like the the bat mask, the, the fucking rubber would always be stuck in your eyeball. <laughs> they make reference to that because they're like they're flying to where they gotta fly to, and the fucking mask is like stuck to his eyeball. Like he can't like get his eyeball out. Wow. Some nice callbacks. Very cool. I'm surprised because usually the, those movies are just terrible, but that doesn't sound too bad. No, Keaton saved the movie. If you just don't expect it to be serious, then that sounds pretty good. I'm surprised that it, like a lot of people are giving it good reviews, too. Because Michael Keaton's fucking awesome, that's why. He's literally the only saving grace. They should have never fucking, they should have never gotten rid of him. I mean, Val Kilmer was okay. Oh, yeah. All right, RWK, what's up, man? Are you talking about the new flag? Yeah, but we're done talking about it. <sighs> I would say go see it or wait till it's on demand in like 30 days. I'm buying that shit on 4K. I have to. It's Michael Keaton. Yeah. And he's got Beetlejuice coming up. Yeah, man. He's the man. Michael Keaton's fucking awesome. You know his name is Mike... His, his real name is Michael Douglas? Yeah, yeah, he told me. Because there change. is a Michael Douglas, you had to change it to Keaton. It's just funny that he realized his best roles were like the 90s, so he's reprising these roles now. And we're all well, old. No, he and left like, Hollywood for up. a long time. For like 10 years. Yeah. He came back with white noise like 20 years ago. Not 20 years ago. More like 12 years ago. Like, yeah. Or maybe it was 2007, 2008. Yeah, I'd say 20 years ago. And ever since he came back with white noise, like, he's just been. He did Birdman, which was a rip on him not being able to play Batman anymore. Yeah, literally, that did literally, really well. Literally, Birdman is his story without being like his story. Yep. And for him to work for all the way back from Birdman all the way up to Batman again, it's crazy. Yeah. It's he was like, really good in the McDonald's movie too. It's like his career came full circle. He's always been good. He's never yeah. been a bad actor ever. He was the fucking man in the eighties, man. It's fantastic. It's good to, he's still acting. That George Clooney thing, though, that got me. That was funny. <laughs> Alright, what are we playing here? I don't even know. Keaton and <sighs> Kilmer. Uh, Michael Keaton all day long. Val Kilmer was good. Yeah, I like Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer was a great Batman, but a shitty Bruce Wayne. Michael yeah. Keaton was a great Batman and a great Bruce Wayne. Yeah. All these people be like, oh. Ugh. Excuse me. They're not all like that. Uh, they who's, do that. <laughs> who's that guy? Oh, um. Uh, From Batman why can't Begins? think of his name? Christian Bale? They think he's Christian the best Bale. Batman. He's not the best Batman. No, he's not the best. 
Those movies are good, but... They're good, but he ain't the best Batman. Sorry. No. Jack Nicholson was the best Joker. Just like Patriot Joel said in the chat. He's dead on with that one. Jack was the man. I think he was the most, um... Like, true to the character. Whereas the newer Joker is more like... (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. He said, took, like, some "Mr. Patriot Joel says Bell's Batman sound like a throat cancer." Yeah, that's the thing. He was like, "It's kind of cheesy." Where is she? <laughs> yeah. And plus, Batman begins. I would tell you, but I think you seriously need to go see a doctor. <laughs> Where is she? You think so? All right, I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> but Batman Begins wasn't that great. But the other two were really good. So you gotta take that into account. I mean, it was all right. Batman but... Begins was boring. Yeah, it was definitely the other not. The two movies like... were more action paced. Right. <coughs> the slow burn. The Patterson guy is so good. I haven't, I haven't, but I haven't watched it yet. Oh that yeah, was good because he was kind of basically playing himself, especially given his past. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Heath Ledger was um, a pretty good Joker, but it, 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 it doesn't come anywhere near Jack. You know what's fucking funny? When Heath Ledger died, Jack Nicholson was like out to eat or something. And the, the interview was like, what do you think about Heath Ledger dying? And Jack Nicholson just goes, I warned him. And it's like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh, my God. I heard something that Jack Nicholson thought he was going crazy from doing the role, but I thought it was all just like <laughs> hype. <coughs> People say that the Joker role makes you go nuts, but I don't know. Nah, that was that was that other guy being stupid, Jarrett Laredo. Oh, oh, that's that guy. That guy sucks. Yeah, he does. <laughs> it's probably the worst Joker. Although, Joaquin Phoenix was pretty damn good as Joker. Even though it doesn't really count. You know, I have that, and I never watched it. I like the movie. It's kind of stupid, but I don't know. I liked it. If you step back and think about it, it's kind of dumb. The whole thing, though, with his Joker was that was supposed to be part of the DC Black series. Yeah. Where it's black, meaning it's like um, focusing on the bad guys. Right. And those movies were supposed to be one and done movies. They were not supposed to be sequels. But it made so much money, they're like, eh, sequel. It's like, yeah, if I, you just killed the whole integrity of the film. If I was them, I would have rebooted the entire thing, starting with that movie. Because they did it in a way that it could be taken seriously. They should have just started completely over. But they were like, eh, whatever. We'll just make all this other crap. Does Doom 64 have online? Uh, I don't know. Do I have? I'm, I'm sure I have Doom sixty four. Let me see. Doom sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Oh, what the heck! I'm getting exercise videos. Doom sixty four. Oh yeah, I have exercise it. Exercise videos. Let me uh see if it tells me. Uh, single player only. The new movie seemed to focus on mental health. I watch the Joker a few times a year. We, well, we yeah. have that. We have that problem now. In Everything focuses on mental health. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't a good movie to put out there. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Single player only. We should play Halo Four, Frankie. All right, <laughs> Halo Four. I mean. <laughs> Halo Infinite Season 4, Frankie. Oh, great, yeah. They're adding, like, one map. It's like, dude, really? (laughs) They add one map? That's, you know, (laughs) these motherfuckers, they interview Phil Spencer. Yeah. I was like, so what ice cream did you eat today, Phil? Was it good? (laughs) Did you spill it all over your shirt? (laughs) If I were, I was like, if I were interviewing the guy, I'd be like, listen. Halo's your biggest franchise for Xbox. 
Where are we with that? Yeah. Why is it off the box? Why are you not marketing it? Why are you not taking care of Halo? Everything's about Starfield. I get it. That's their biggest game of probably the decade. But I would be more concerned about Halo. They just like abandoned it. How do you come up with one map? They for did it with. Game? I'm telling you, this that's their pattern. <gasps> Look at fucking Crackdown Three. Swept it under the rug. Look at Redfall. Swept it under the rug. Look at Halo uh, Infinite. They but Infinite wasn't and they, bad. They swept it under the rug. Like, Crackdown was just bad, but Infinite wasn't bad. It's like you could save it. Bro, they everyone just... was hyped for Crackdown because of Terry Crews. Yeah. And then it comes out, and everyone's like, this is what we were, like, <laughs> happy about? Like when, when I played the beta, I was like, something is horribly wrong here with this game. <laughs> and then they came out, and it was just bad. RWK says, took my ball to see Transformers last night. It was good. I wish they would nice. do Transformers with no humans. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wish they would do another <laughs> cartoon movie, but they don't, they're they never going to do All that again. All they have to do is keep re-releasing the cartoon in theaters. The cartoon movie. Yeah. That's the best movie, man. That's the best fucking that, movie. Just, that's, that's an example of a movie where they just nailed it. The animation is spot on. The soundtrack is perfect. It's literally like a perfect movie. It was a beautiful film. That's like uh, people. I don't know if people don't give it enough credit or what, but that's like an archival piece of film. Do you have uh, WWE Battlegrounds? I, uh, I can install <coughs> it real quick. Sure. I gotta update it. We could play that first. Uh, yeah, I'll install it. We're gonna be playing a lot of single player stuff soon. When's the Final new Fantasy? Power Rangers? It was like two months ago, man. You missed it. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen that, you got to go watch it. Battle. What the hell is this? I, like, this? forgot how to use Xbox. Look Stall. at these sales. They're abhorred. Oh, you know what I did get? Um, I Because I traded it in when it after I beat it, but I rebought Cyberpunk Digital. Because it runs like really good on the series s i'm shocked i looked up a video to see like if they changed it yeah and uh <sighs> it runs at full 60 like beautifully on series s so i was like oh i'll just I could play it on there if i feel like playing it because there's they're coming out with all that new content so and final fantasy 16 runs at upscaled that's what i said last night i saw it it doesn't even run at 4k yeah it's 1440 upscaled so why are people I, fucking getting on me about Starfield when fucking, you know, Square can't even get their shit right? I just hope that the, pat, the day one patch makes it stable, because I really want to play that game, but it, the dips are, like, really if bad. If that game is shit, I'm sending it back to Amazon opened. I'll probably do the same thing. Let's get it from Amazon and send it back. Richard, what is up, brother? I never return anything, so I don't care. I'll do it. Liquor sandwich, what is up? What's up, guys? The Alchemist, the world's most powerful consoles. The councils. Councils. Install WWE and we'll play um Doom first. Yeah, it's gonna, gonna be done in less than a minute. <clears throat> or one minute. Shadows of the Damn Remastered? I don't know. Abo is. I'll see how good it is. If it's worth it. Are there any? There's no other multiplayer games coming out besides like Texas Chainsaw. I'm picking up any 30, can... 30 frames games this gen. I don't blame you. At Starfield, you could play for free anyway. So, so uh, Richard doesn't even know that Final Fantasy 16 is not even 4K. Nope, it's 1440p. It's... 1440p upscaled at 30 FPS with dips. That's why the resolution looks like Vaseline. <clears throat> what do you want to play first before Battlegrounds? Let's see Doom 64. If that, I don't know if it oh, has it, online. It said single player when I looked what? it up. I just launched yep. it. Now you gotta wait. Oh. Oh. 
I wonder if the Doom. other Dooms have um a multiplayer. Let me see. How does Doom 64 not have online? Check anyway, because it said it on the uh, thing. But... I gotta relaunch it now. Hang on. Uh, oh. <laughs> we can't wait. Might as well build a PC. Maybe you need to follow what my guy says. Uh, we're gonna have to play his his noodly video. Doom for 360 says Xbox Live. No Man's I'm Sky right now. to Starfield. Doom two in my timeline that are actually says Xbox Live. No Man's Sky to Starfield and saying No Man's Sky thing. is better. Did y'all even oh, see the this? fucking direct? Did y'all even see the game? That game has games I within games. Base building is its own game. Building your aircraft or your spacecraft, it's its own game. Cities, they're their own games. Exploration, <coughs> that's their Can own game. 1,000 planets that are populated and discovering what's going on, that's its own game. Anyone in their right or left mind comparing No Man's Sky to Starfield and saying No Man's Sky is better, you oh, need to just why. stop, grow up, get a fucking job so you can get all I three fucking consoles guy's like speech. I can. Jesus, you guys are pathetic. There, there are people in my timeline that are actually, actually comparing No Man's, no Man's Sky <laughs> to Starfield and, and saying No Man's, Man's Sky is better. Is better. Did y'all even, even see the fucking Did y'all even, even, even see the game? That, that game has games, games within games. games. Base building Damn, what's is up? its own game. game. Building, building your aircraft or your spacecraft, it's, it's its own game. game. Cities, they're, they're their own games. games. Exploration, that's, that's their own games. 1,000 planets that are populated <laughs> and discovering what's going on, that's its own game. Anyone in their right or left mind comparing No Man's Sky to Starfield and saying No Man's Sky is picture behind them looks like he has cat ears. Stop, grow up, get a fucking job so you can get all the pattern on his couch is black. Jesus, you guys are pathetic. It totally looks like he's like paraplegic with cat ears on. Maybe he is. You guys are pathetic. Yeah, this console, man. Starfield isn't even out, and it's already getting review bombed. Well, yeah, because people are butthurt. It does not have online. Oh. I don't think. And none of the... Th so they, like, re-released the Dooms, and they don't have them. You know why it says Xbox Live? Because there's Bethesda Net. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Ugh. Hi, Frank. What about, I didn't know um, you were on here. Yeah, he, well, I mean, Cam, the Q&A says Frank Q&A. What about that other Quake game? Quake Arena? You want to try that for a minute? There is no black hole I want to go in. Bro, I'm naming my ship, ship the Milfy Way. You could do that. <laughs> <clears throat> The guy looks like a 60 year old man. What the heck does he know? Well, he's I mean, a smart man. He's giving you good advice. Does he have any other videos, that guy? I don't know. I saw that randomly on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. He's probably oh, watching now, like, I'm going to fucking sue you guys for posting <laughs> a video so I could buy more of the consoles. Let me see if this has online. I think we played this game before. Yeah, the 360 Doom. I just don't uh, quake. I just don't feel like playing that right now. Okay. Ugh, excuse I'll me. play whatever. I don't I care. Apologize. Isn't that the Alchemist? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. How come Ducktales Remaster doesn't have online? <laughs> Imagine how, it's co-op. <laughs> how come Ducktales Remaster isn't on the Switch? Because they hate us. They they hate money. How come Goldeneye doesn't have online? How dare you ask these questions? 
Too bad the Smurfs doesn't have co-op. Could have beat the Smurfs. Ah, sorry. <coughs> Did you see what Hulk Hogan said? He said all the wrestlers today look like they should be bagging his groceries at the supermarket. Hey, you know what? He's not really wrong. No, he's not wrong. There's, there's nobody big. Dude, they all look like little girls. Okay. Yeah. Adam Cole. I thought Britt Baker was a lesbian. This guy Adam Dude, Cole Adam, has longer hair than she does. Adam Cole does look like a woman. He looks like a fucking midget woman. Yeah, that's very true. He sucks, man. He was good in Ring of Honor when he had the short hair and everything, and he didn't have the fucking ugly beard. Yeah. Now he looks like some crazy lady jumped in the ring with no shirt on. <laughs> I don't know. They have no stars over there. They're in trouble. Uh. It's funny. Everyone was like, oh, the women's division needs work. Now the women's division is more interesting than the regular stuff. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, because they got rid of their top star and uh, destroyed his... Uh... Here's the thing. Nobody won this whole situation. AEW lost. Yep. That brought out because now people don't like Punk. Now people don't like the Elite. Now people don't like Tony Khan. And people, they left. They can't even sell tickets. Nope. That's it. The company's fucking borked. It's like WCW. And, oh, they sold out Wembley. Okay, they sold out Wembley Stadium because the UK doesn't even get fucking wrestling over there at all. Yep. Of course they sold out Wembley. But when they come back here on Monday, they're still going to sell 300 tickets to fucking buttfuck Iowa, wherever the fuck they're going to have their... <laughs> They're dynamite shows. Everyone acts like Wembley is like the place. Like huge deal. Nobody fucking goes there. No. I mean, great for people in the UK. They get to, you know, have fun for one night. <clears throat> you want to go to Wembley? How do we do this again? Uh, I guess just create a thing and I'll try to just join you. It's giving me an ad for the Brawler Pass, which I have. Yeah, me too. Okay. Let's do cage match. Gauntlet. Tag team. Steel cage. Here you go. Remember the cage and electrocute you and stuff? <laughs> there needs to be four people in the cage. Is that true? Like, we can't just do a one on one. Exhibition men. One on one. Oh no, but a uh, steel cage one on one. Okay, here you go. Online friend. Is somebody jumping in here? Okay, no, okay. I'm jumping in there. Oh, you joined, okay. Yeah. I, I don't I, remember how I to think play I turn music off. Okay. That's me. Are you in? Yeah, you're in. How do I be my, uh, I want to be the guy I made. Hey, the guy from AEW is in here still. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of guys from uh, AEW. Thought I had... Oh, look, Otis is here. <laughs> wow, Goldberg! Yeah, it's Goldberg. Who's going to be in freaking AEW before you know it? Where's my, uh, oh, I want to be my created guy, but whatever, I'll just be. Oh, you son of a beast thing. Audio properties, Discord. Okay, there you go. 
It's a WCW match on WWE TV, folks. We're probably the only two people playing this game right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is this 30 again? What happened? Yeah, wait, hold on. It's running at 30. I'll, let me see if there's an option. No. Why is it 30? It was, it was 60 before. Yeah, it definitely was. <clears throat> I think on the one X it was sixty. It was. wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was. How'd they get rid of the frame rate? I don't know. <laughs> what the heck? What the fuck is wrong with these companies with thirty FPS? How do you like go back? <clears throat> I have this on Steam. I gotta anyway, restart this I shitty Sony cool. TV because half the screen is fucking glitching out. Oh my god. Shout out to Sony for making a piece of shit TV. Oh, wait. Yo, buy the fucking LG with the five-year warranty, okay? If you play games and your life is complete. Plus, you can't beat the picture quality. The Sony TVs are a piece of shit. If you want to watch movies in fucking, like, five frames a second, buy the Sony TV. Yeah. If you want to play games, don't buy this shit. Yeah, why did this game go back down to 30? That's so weird. <clears throat> Options. Bro, oh, the TV me. is fucked up again. The whole TV is gray. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to look this up. Yo, I feel like getting a sledgehammer. I have one at the shop and just fucking destroying this TV. This TV sucks. You have to film it at it's least. It's giving me the fucking screen again. Unbelievable. Is this game called Battlegrounds? We can't even play the game. I'll send you a picture of what this TV's doing. Yeah, what the heck is going on? It's crazy. It's like combining both inputs. Because I see the chat. And I see half the game. Wow. Don't buy a fucking Sony TV. Oh my god, I just saw the picture. What the hell? It does this shit randomly all the time. That's insane. <clears throat> Not burning. It's the fucking... Oh. Because Sony... Has shitty fucking handshake signals. It fucks the whole TV up. Can you... You know what? I sent it to you on here, right? I'm going to put yeah. it right in the chat. Yeah, it doesn't know... The TV like doesn't know what how, what to do with the signal. It's just like screwing yeah, it all up. because it's the fucking Sony handshakes. And I'm really yeah. fucking tired of these stupid fucking handshakes with Sony. Okay? Here's what we're fucking seeing, everybody. You see I half my screen... Is fucking glitched out and the other half isn't. And you see the chat room because the handshake is fucking up the signals with the computer. And usually, it if I do a hard to... reset, it fixes it. And I just did one and it didn't fix it. So I'm going to You know, when I try to. On the Sony in, the, in my bedroom, when it goes into HDR, sometimes it. Messes all the colors up, and I have to like reset it too. It's these handshakes it's not just with you. These, this Sony TV, man. Yeah. All the fucking time. Yeah, and so I'm it's not really sick of. I, you know what? I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I right now I can't go out and get an LG, but. Right, but eventually. If somebody sure wants to buy this TV to watch fucking movies on, great. Uh, let me know. I'll give you the TV, but you got to give me money. This way I could get an LG and I could play games on it. Yeah, you gotta put some money toward the LG. I even got drunk and left a night a few times. Good. Now that I did the hard reset, look. I'm gonna send you what it looks like now. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> 
But for everyone in the chat, this is it happens on mine too. It's not just him. So because it's the handshakes. Yeah. That's what I get when I do the hard reset. And then I go to the input again. Yeah. I switch inputs. Right? And then I go back and then I get the green glitching. Yeah, like when we, we go to watch something. Okay. It, I went back now and it works. Okay. Now it's now it's fine. But you see what well, I had to go through? Yeah. We'll we'll go to watch something in the bedroom and it'll something with HDR will come on. And I, I notice it all the time. I have to say to my wife, I'm like, did something happen to the colors? Like, what's going on? And then we have to, like, back out of the Why thing. Why is this game 30 it. again? Yeah, I don't know. This game was 30 on the Xbox One. But then on the One X, it ran at 60. And then on the yeah, Series X, it ran at 60. Now it's I running at to... fucking 30 because they probably did an update... And they broke it. And they broke it. I used to play on the 1S and it was 30 and you guys were like, oh, it's so, it's so good on the X. And then I played it on the X and it was 60. We used to play 4 player and it ran at 60. Yeah. Yeah, they fucking capped the frame rate again. When we quit later, I'm going to check the main menu, but I don't think there's an option. I don't think so either. I think just... 2K fucking sucks. Well, we knew that. Oh, but why would you take away a screen picture? I lift a fucking picture up. Okay, sorry everybody. It's like if you have it in the game already, why would you take it out? Like nobody's don't playing buy, this anyway. If you want to play games, don't buy a fucking Sony TV because their handshakes are fucking ridiculous. They think you're gonna put a Blu-ray in your PS5 and record it with your Elgato. That's They're how so fucking stupid touch. they are. It's like, bro, you can put it in your disk drive and fucking rip it. You don't even need a PlayStation to do that. No one's doing that shit. Uh, when that, when my Sony TV breaks, I'm getting the LG. Just go fucking LG. Fuck Sony. Yep. I saw. I've you showed me the Get way. Get the five-year like, warranty and just be done with it. But also, too, the image quality is far superior. In this games. guy Anthony like, scammed I admit us. It. Oh, well, yeah, I bought I don't the Sony, even... everybody. Wow, well, bought the Sony. Yeah, yeah. Was, the was Sony. it even out back then, though? The LG, the OLED. Yeah, the CX was like the one that kicked it off. Yeah, the, the LG is definitely the way to go for everything. It's fucking Your the quality. way to go. I like can't I believe they we're... capped the frame rate. I really can't believe they did this. I can't believe it either. Remember the other day we were playing games at the shop and I was just like, damn, <laughs> I need a, an OLED. <laughs> you guys in the chat, if you've never seen one, like go to Best Buy and what, look at the demo and you'll just be like, wow, what am I doing? Well, when I jump, oh my God, the frame rate's dipping now. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. When I went to grab you from climbing, the frame rate shot up. <laughs> what what did they do to the game? They just fucked up the frame rate. <laughs> They broke it. It's like, yeah, let's make sure nobody plays this game and drop it back down to 30. There's no one playing it anyway. Why do they have to mess with it? Just leave it alone. Mike, what's up? I could finally message. Mike's in the chat, Frank. Oh, what's up, dude? It was Brandy that was and Cody. The other day, hanging out. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm at the main menu again. Let me see if there's a setting real quick. Uh, let's see. Is there even like a setting? Oh, options. In game crossplay. No, there's like no settings in here. Yeah, so they. They go all. Yeah, this is the main menu. They, they capped nothing... the frame rate. Why'd they do that? So, everyone in the chat, Mike's been my friend for like 20 years. So, be nice to him. He's family. He's a great guy. We had a lot of fun uh, over the weekend hanging out. So treat him like gold. He was in the very first AOX episode for anybody that used to watch back in the day. Should re-upload that one day. Yeah, I don't know if I can. <laughs> right here. Yeah, I understand something. We made jokes in the early 2000s, which gets people canceled now. 
Okay? Right. Or people get upset. And I understand because I get it. But, I mean, I can't go back and fucking erase, you know, a video from 20 years ago where we made stupid jokes. We made Jay and Silent Bob jokes. And now I watch Jay and Silent Bob and it's fucking cringe. But that's the time that we lived in, man. This Welcome guy has a video what? that says yeah, 2K Battleground 60 FPS on Series S from 2021. So it definitely was. We're not crazy. No, we're not crazy because we had four people playing on here. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, guys playing at 60 frames. No problem. I don't know. Let's do another match. How to boost and increase. All right. Yeah, you know how you boost the frame rate? You throw the fucking Xbox out the window. <laughs> That's the boost it needs. All these guys don't work here anymore. Let's see if I can join you. Let's do a non cage match and see if that helps. Okay. Okay. So Although we def yeah, you're we definitely did that cage match and everything. And I know we did. We did a four player cage match with no problem. Yep. Oh, you you changed your thing to Grimace? Oh, yeah. He, I like his little... Uh, that's his little profile picture. And we're both on Series X's, too. It's not even like it's limiting to the lowest common denominator. Well, they, right here, when you select a character, it's in 60. Yeah. So what do they do to the game? Hey, Andrade's here. Gonna be under the giant. Freaking Big Show is here. Yeah, Booker T's here, man. Brett, you got Brett. You got the Bulldog. Broccoli. Who the fuck is this guy? Buddy Murphy. He, oh, he's in AEW now. Andre the Giant. He's been dead. Yep. So how many wrestlers are in hell in this game? Oh my god. You know, in the uh, WWE. Uh, WrestleMania 21 on Xbox. Eric Bischoff like does the story mode for your character. Yeah. And he goes, your next opponent, I literally had to go to hell to get. And it, it, you fight Andre the Giant. Oh, damn. That's messed so up. He said Andre's in hell. If you switch over to Doom, you can play as the guys who died. <laughs> oh, he's an AEW, Jeff Hardy. Yep. I'm watching you scroll through, like, thinking about how many people oh, are not there anymore. Kane with the chicken skin on his face. <laughs> Who the fuck is Liam Lillard? I don't know. I was just thinking that. Who's Lince Denardio? <laughs> Doritos? Oh, fuck Mankind. it. I challenge you to the WrestleMania. <laughs> Why does Andre look like Sylvester Stallone in this? He looks like Sideshow Bob when he wrestled at Shea Stadium against Hogan. Three, two, yeah, the frame oh. rate's fucking low again. Yeah. When we uh, when we're done playing this, I'll go to single player and see if it like they probably raised it to 4K because it looks nice. Yeah, it does. Uh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. What a I think I have this on Steam, too. So I do. I, ever, I have it on Steam as well. If I ever really want to play it, I guess what? I play it. It probably it. runs at fucking 30 because they probably patched it again. Oh, yeah, they probably capped it. If we buy the disc, it'll be in 60. Actually, that's a good point. I wonder uh, if we just don't update it. If you find this for really cheap, or if I find it for like PS4, you should put it in your banned PS5 and see like what happens. Oh, you can install the disc offline and not download the update. Right. But then we can't play online, so. Yeah. I just can't believe that they would go back and take that out like I don't know that 
At least give me the option. That's what I mean. Even if it's like a crappy. Because it did run at 60 before. Yeah. How do I run? Wonder when they even updated this last. <laughs> Game's been out for a couple of years. Type in Battlegrounds uh, 30 FPS cap. Yeah, I was trying to look before and I didn't see it. Ah, oh, my controller! Oh, I have to kill you. Oops. Oh, pops out the left. Whoa. Hats just caught on fire. Sock goes on fire. Have a nice day. Dude, what happened to wrestling? When me and Mike used to watch it, it was so fucking cool. Yeah, that shit fucking sucks. I don't know. I mean, we lived in a fucking era. Like, we had two great eras. We had the 80s wrestling and the fucking 90s and early 2000s. And that was it. It was... That shit went to dog shit. But everything in the world turned bad after 2001. Like, everything just sucks. Movies, music, everything. Yeah, everything. You don't even have music anymore. You just have club music now. Yeah, I listen to old music because that's all there is. Like, you don't have alternative rock. You don't have any of that shit anymore. Uh, I'll nope. Just be over here. Yeah, yeah, right out here. here. Yeah, I just, I'm Jay-Z and I dropped my new album at 4.30 in the morning. Isn't that fucking great, guys? And you one can only buy it on a cell phone. <laughs> a cell phone. With one of his albums, when I worked at Best Buy, we accidentally sold it early. Oh. I don't know what happened, but... You know, he lives, like, down the street from my old house, right? Yeah. He lives in, uh, lives right over Scarsdale there. over there. Oh, yep. Right in the back roads where I used to go to work. Kind of nuts. Imagine you just see him taking out the trash. <laughs> I'm only 24 and I think media was better back then. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the alchemist says. Oh. I can't believe they put the frame rate back down. Just, I've never seen that where they take it out. Like, oh it'd be one thing if they never had it, but. I don't know, man. Oh, look, Marl. Could be it. Cover. One. Ah. <laughs> you heard of fists of fury. These are fists of fire. You know, it's funny that outside the ring, it looks like hell. There's like fire coming up out of the ground. ECW Anarchy Rules for Dreamcast. They have an Inferno match where the outside of the ring's on fire. And you literally just dump the guy into the fire and he lights on fire. Oh my god. But it's like a lava pit around the ring. It's like... Why? That's not what it was. They just had fucking... Like, those little things on the side of the ring. Yeah. You could play as Heyman in that game, though. That's that's what's funny. I should always let you play as Heyman. So when AEW show again... Uh, it's this Saturday. We're going to be covering it around uh, 1030. 1030. Yep. Because the show ends at 10? Yep. Who plays the women?
What if I go to, um, I'll try it later. Yeah, let me know when you, you set up a match. I'll try to join again. I'm in. Okay. In game. So CM Punk comes back Saturday, so we'll see if uh, he gets blacklisted again and we don't see him for another fucking 10 years. He apparently did an ESPN interview where he's going to curse everybody out again. It comes out this weekend. No, eight. Oh, God. He thinks the game is coming up this weekend. Not oh, Fight Forever. Fight Forever is next week. All these women don't work here anymore. Let's see who they got. Is my girl in here? Yeah, she's here. So, Charlotte. Oh, my God. Charlotte's. Uh, what version of her freaking breasts are in this game? <laughs> Charlotte Flair's had like 25 breast like surgeries. They're gigantic, then they're small, then they're gigantic <laughs> again, then they're very small, then they're medium. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> She's like freaking silly putty, this girl. All these women don't James work here. James looks terrible on this. Fucking Nikki oh. Cross looks like Sherlock Holmes, man. <laughs> There's Paige. Paige? Yeah, she's in there. She looks okay. Oh, the fucking uh, Ruby, whatever the fuck her name is. Oh, yeah. Sasha's still in here. All these girls don't work here anymore. Some that. of them just look so bad. Mickey James looks like she has two glass eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, she's looking at two different directions. I would be offended if I was in this game. Bro, I don't know who to pick. <laughs> They're all terrible. I'll, I'll pick Big Ass Bailey. How about that? Yeah, but this was back when she had a small ass. Yo, this guy Kofi looks like ludicrous in this photo. <laughs> I got Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins on mine. I always get ludicrous and range one. Why is the cage gigantic? It's huge. It wasn't like this in the men's match. No. <laughs> Set for the ride with the Irish whip. Look out. Oh, oh we should do Sting versus uh, Rusev. Oh my god. Oh man. I can't believe they locked it at 30. Why? I can't five. believe it either. Whoa! I can't believe it! Oh, full head of steam and I'm the cage, dumbass. Oh no, it's gonna electrocute us. How come they don't have a new American Gladiators game? That's what I want. So the guy that, like, quote, owns it, he stole it from his friend. Which the whole documentary is about. This motherfucker looks like Elvis. So I was like, yeah, well, this guy's looking like Elvis. He was an Elvis impersonator for like 10 years. Oh my god. Because they show it. And he wants to make it a movie before he dies. And he's like, all right, movie? I, I, I only have a couple years left before I die. We've got to make this movie. And like, all these investors are like, 
This guy is like so full of shit. Why does he want to make a movie? Why don't you just bring back the show? Well, the movie was originally n had nothing to do with like the concept of the show. Oh, it, it's basically called American Gladiators, but it was like the village people. That's weird. And then, like, one of the networks were like, "We're gonna pick up. We're gonna pick it up." And he's like, "Great!" And they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna make it a game show." And he's like, "What?" <laughs> What do you that's, mean it came That's shit. where it started. How but sad is it that... Originally, the guy that created the show, that this guy robbed him from, uh, robbed it from, that guy was trying to be a tag team in the WWF with his brother, or his friend, or whatever, and they were going to call them their tag team, the American Gladiators. And he, he they had tryouts in the WWF and everything. So Vince would have owned the name. That's kind of... Scary. If this other guy didn't steal it, why can't I pick the money up? Speaking of game shows, it's so sad that Pat Sajak is leaving. They've been trying to get rid of him for a couple of years now. Ever since his fucking daughter took over, they were trying to get rid of him. It's never going to be the same. No, it's another Ever. era and end of an era. Yeah. That means we're getting old. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, I have enough money. That's why I can't pick it up. I win. Hey, the frame rate jumped up. Yeah. Again, when you get out of the cage, a frame rate shoots up. Because Lana doesn't deserve to be in 30. Yeah. She has to be in 60. What's Lana's name backwards? Uh-oh. <laughs> Lana! Lana, Lana, Lana! 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 It's time for your name backwards. <laughs> Imagine if the fucking doorbell rings and Russo just goes, Lana! Lana, Lana! <laughs> And the person like, like I, a, yeah, I didn't know you had a punk. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, it's just the Amazon guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Let me just go into a, a single player match and see what happens. Go ahead. I just want to know. I just have to know. Lana! 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 Someone's at the door! Lana! <laughs> he calls her Lana when that's not her name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nah, the single player is still gimp, too. That's fucked up. Yeah, what the heck? Options, yeah, there's uh, options. Excuse right. me. Well, now we know. Lana, 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 why you kept the frame rate, Lana? Lana, Lana. <laughs> Lana, why they kept the frame rate? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm waiting. We yeah, I'm trying to get out of this. Miro versus, uh, what are we doing? Miro versus Thing? Thing, yeah. Okay, Miro, have a treat. They're actually going to do Anna. Jericho and Sting in AEW. Oh, my God. It's like, man, like, you should have done this match, like, it's too late. 25 fucking years ago in WCW. Jericho, man, this guy, man, he leeches on everybody now. Yeah, he does. He's trying to stay relevant. He's trying to sleep with Paige. He's trying to fucking be CM Punk. He's trying to Beach. fucking sleep with Britt Baker. This guy's trying to fucking... He's trying to be, uh... With everybody to stay relevant. I saw your movies, Paige. I want to sleep with you now. Oh, God. You brought that up. <laughs> now we're going to get banned. From freaking AEW. For, yeah, for a video that's like 10 years you old. You know, that happened, right? She... There was a... Um, she did an interview saying some guy wanted her autograph or something. Yeah. So she told him to wait in the lobby, right? And she, because she had to do a photo shoot, but she'll come back in like 
give an autograph and take a photo or whatever. Well, her fucking limousine driver was like in the lobby and heard the and the makeup her makeup artist was in the lobby and the guy that she was gonna give the uh, autograph to was, was telling the limousine driver, yeah, she was in a bunch of porn movies and blah blah blah. Oh damn. And she fucking walked downstairs and she overheard the guy talking about her and she just flipped oh. out on the guy and told him to go fuck himself. Wow. That is pretty messed up if like, yeah, man. It's, like it's actually there. It's like, dude, we all know that happened. Like, get over yeah. it. What well, you know Rusev's not in this game? How is his fucking wife in it and he's not in it? <laughs> I'm looking for him. He's not here. Hey, fucking Vince is in the game. Roman Reigns. Yeah, that's it. He, there's no more R's. So what I, the heck? I guess we're doing Vince first thing. I guess so. Why is Sting wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> Doesn't he have a no. singlet? I thought so, but I guess not. He has to have a singlet. I don't know how to change your costume. You go left or right. Oh. Uh, Three, two, one. Come here, Sting. Sign the contract. I'm going to make you lose to my son-in-law at WrestleMania. Anything but that. They always <laughs> have to bury WCW guys. <laughs> Even though your tape library makes me a lot of money, I have to bury you. Yeah. No. Come down, Sting. No. <laughs> oh. <Damn. laughs> no. Come on, baby, stay in the WF. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Man, Sting did the right thing now. They screwed him over, and the second there was another opportunity, he's Dude, like, bye. Vince fucking made him retire. Yeah. And, he and said, then he's like... He said, I don't care what you say in the Hall of Fame speech, but make sure you tell her when you're retired. Yep. Because we're not going to use you anymore. It's like, what the fuck? And then the second there was another company, he's this like, see you later. fucking retired. Sting, Brian, Edge, Austin, Brock. He retired The Rock. That's why The Rock didn't want to resign at one time. You know, yeah, he the, was stupid for retiring know, Brian. The too. Rock called Foley and said, "Hey, do you want to go to the fairgrounds? They were going to show up on TNA." Wow. As the Rock and Sock connection. Uh oh, going to the heights. And Vince found out because Rock told Jeff Jarrett, he's like. Yeah, I'll do the show, but make sure you put the word out there, like, in the industry. And yeah. when they did, Vince called us and said, oh, uh, pal, we forgot to sign you to a contract. <laughs> we forgot to sign you. They forgot to sign Rock. Yeah. And he got mad, so he said, I'll go to, Im I'll go to the impact zone with Foley. And Foley was down. Ooh, oh, we forgot to sign Nobody knows that story. <laughs> That would have been it's not insane. that they forgot they knew. No, I but know, they but they just didn't want to resign like, him. And they call him up and say, We forgot to sign yeah, him. Yeah, after like the, the word it's... got out that he was interested to go to Impact Zone. The TNA Fairgrounds. They there wasn't even an impact zone, it was a fairgrounds. So the rock was gonna show up like in front of like fifty people. That would have been just Imagine... to piss off Vince. Imagine you're there and The Rock shows up. Look how crazy that would be. Come back, Sting. You can't yeah. leave. <laughs> Fuck. I'm leaving. I'm going to AEW. <laughs> Shit. I lost Sting. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sting? You can only leave if you get past Yokozuna. <laughs> Where did they get him from? I don't know if I want to know. He's in the game. No, oh, but I mean, like, you know. They had to go somewhere to get him. <laughs> you gotta fight ludicrous thing. I like how Cody and Brandy are in the main menu. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do one more with the men. Yeah. Litwin says 
He just saw the flash. Great ending. Yeah, he probably laughed at that too. That was a funny ending. We talked about it on here. Yep. Little one, thanks for the cookies, man. I finally had one of those cookies tonight. Oh, nice. It tastes like fucking um, cream cheese in the middle of it. What? Yeah, I don't know how they're baking their cookies, but totally tastes like cream cheese in the middle. It didn't make you sick? No. Very good. Not yet. R4 is a good game. I'm playing the second Krauser fight. That's awesome. How do you do... How do you select the guy you make? Remember I made that guy, and I was able to be him, but I don't remember what I had to do. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe if you I... had to pick one of the... Polo Reynolds, and then... Oh, oh. Hey, oh, is it right bumper? Powerhouse brawler technician on a flyer. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to change my suit. It's not working. Oh, whatever. I will be. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. I'll Why does be. he look like this? Oh, if you're going to be him, then I got to be. You got to be Sting. Sting? Stink. Uh, I guess I was looking for Rikishi, but he's not in the game. Well, we could do Vader versus Yokozuna. A Samoa Joe's in here. Sweet tooth. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Yokozuna. Well, he's in AEW, too. All the fucking yeah. guys are in AEW. A dead guy versus an AEW guy. Yeah, but I'm the real Samoan, and fucking Samoa Joe's a fake Samoan. Yeah. He's not part of the family. Nope. I'm playing as a Twisted Metal guy in a wrestling game. I wonder if CM Punk's going to call him Sweet Tooth on Saturday. That would be amazing. He's teaming with them. I could see Joe turning on Punk. Yeah, they could do that. This is too fast, guys. Why is Rikishi not in this game? Because he doesn't work there? Yeah, but still. Put him in. He keeps fucking writing on Twitter that he's gonna show up and like I know. confront the bloodline and he never does. Yeah, I, that's what I thought was gonna happen at a fucking fake last thing we watched. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cause like whenever they have a few like whenever the bloodline has drama, he always writes Wait till I get out there. Yeah. This will not stand. And then he never shows up. I don't think just pay him the 10 bucks to go out there. Like, look, how much could he really want? He needs to go isn't out there he, and make Roman Reigns dance with the fucking Isn't he on a, a Legends thing anyway? Like, I'm sure they could just be like, it's part of your contract or something. He's not on the Legends deal. He's on the motherfucking deal. <laughs> He's on the stink deal. Counter, counter. You know, he was arrested by the feds. Really? Yeah, because he's sending his wife the tax money to pay the taxes. She never paid it. Wow. Because he fucking wrote something online years ago. Don't ever trust family with your taxes. <laughs> Imagine if he's like, my ass made those taxes. <laughs> I'm sure he fucking said that. <laughs> Literally his ass. Got him the tax money. You know how many times I had to rub my ass in Vince's face <laughs> to get that money? He's the only, like, big fat man to successfully get money for showing his ass. <laughs> Mario thought he was Yokozuna at first. I was like, dude, that's fat, too. That's not Yokozuna. Yokozuna. 
I love it. I think he's going up top. Because no. he, he debuted like the year that Yokozuna died. Or the year before he died. Yokozuna, I watched that, uh... he got so fat that it was illegal for him to wrestle. Yeah, I watched the... People, um, when Vince would do him. AOL chat rooms, people would be like, where's Yokozuna? And Vince would be like, he has to lose weight because he can't get a license in New York State. And they sent him to lose weight. They paid for it like a bunch of times. Yeah. He just never was able to do it. What was that Dark Side of the Ring or whatever? It was like a year or two ago. I watched a documentary yeah. about him. What the fuck happened? Ah! Oh my god! He really did come back from the dead. Put Yokozuna in Fable. You know, these characters look like they could fit in there. Oh, someone posted a picture of the actress that played the, like, character, and she looks nothing like that. And she does not have a beard. I think they gave her a beard just because it's Fable. Like, they're just yeah. being stupid. Right. Look, it went to 60 for two seconds. <laughs> Why is this game so broken? I gotta load this on the Series S and see if it does it, too. It, it must. Somalian Joe? Senior Joe? <laughs> Somalian Joe. I leveled up. Uh, the flames of hell are on his arms. Somalian Joe. Remember, you know, I was thinking of the other day in the car. What? Fucking when you had Captain Lou, the video. Hey kids, when you take when you do drugs, you die and you go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that. Uh, don't do drugs, because if you do, you'll go to hell when you die. <laughs> or you'll go to hell and you'll die. I don't know. He said something like that. He said when you die, you go to hell. You go to the, hell the, TV, you the TV's fucked up again. Oh, are you kidding me? It's VB. What's up, man? Did you exit out of the game? Yeah, and look what happened. I'll show you. I need to find out. I'm going to look at the reviews of this game on here and see if some anybody mentions it. Because I looked online and I couldn't find anybody talking about it. Let me see. Wow. Yeah, mine's done that before. Hang on, everybody. The same thing. I'll show you what... When I exited the game... I'm going to show you what this TV did. Mine has done that before, too. Yeah. Hang on, everybody. Hey, everybody. The one, the one in the living That's room doesn't what do it as now much. When I exited the game. Now I got to fucking hold the power button down and reset the TV again. Fucking Sony piece of shit TVs. Can't make. If consoles, you're gonna just make... watch movies on these things, get it. Okay. If you're gonna play games, don't buy the shit. Don't buy it. <clears throat> nope. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to look this up real quick because this is driving me nuts that they took out 60 frames. Me too. I have to know. I have to know what now happened. Now I gotta uninstall it. Never play it again. <laughs> As per the code of 30 frames. Let me say this a lot. WWE 2K What the fuck? Battle. The world's most powerful is console. They can't run shit. But it can. We know it can. It did. Until they fucking 2K decided to lock it up. That's why I say, everybody, whether you have the disc or not, you don't own the fucking game. No, look what they Because did. they could change the code on you, and that's it. If Even if I had it on disc... And I could play it in 60. I still can't play online with Frank anymore in 60. Right. Okay, I'm watching so him play. So whether you have the disc or not, they could change the fucking terms. Like, you don't own it. You are paying for a license. Whether you have it physical or digital. People have not seemed to have caught on to that yet. That's so why it of... doesn't even fucking matter anymore. I buy this shit digital and that's it. As of 2021, it was still 60. So let me put in 
Let me take this off now. Everything's good. I can see. Series X. The WWF Series X, King. Let's see. WWF Series, Attitude. Series X gameplay. This was also two years ago. Hey, let's see. It's me, JR. Did you see the match last night? <laughs> okay, definitely 60 frames. Let's see. I'm going to sort by um, more recent. <laughs> This oh, man. 2K Battlegrounds local co-op Series X four months ago. Let's see if it was still in 60. Do the reviews? Let me see if the... Yo, it was still in 60 four months ago. So, so there something was a recent happened. patch. Let me see if there's like patch notes or something. This is crazy. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? What happened? Oh, no. It just says compatibility options, auto HDR. Yeah, I checked that. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> frame boost was gonna be oh, nice. let me see. I returned to 2K Battlegrounds, and this happened two months ago. Let's see what this guy says. Yeah. I returned? That's what he wrote. I have returned. I'm going to look at the gameplay and see if it's in 30. Oh, yeah. That is in 30, buddy. Let me Google... Uh, there's patch notes. Update 16 patch notes. Okay, let's see. When was this? Wait a minute. Added NBA 2K stars to the game. When the hell was this update? And this is gameplay optimizations. Of course, it doesn't say the date. Everyone just says it's boring, which is not true. Oh, the game is fine, but... I think the last update was March of 21. Update 60. Actually, will it tell you on the game what version we have? Yeah, we have version 2005. 2.0.0.5. Okay. Unresponsive controls, cheap AI, lock-on's a mess. Let's see. Oh, the servers were taken down from April 29th to May 5th, 2023. So something must have happened there. But I want to see these patch notes. We got to look at reviews from this year. Yeah. Most recent. There we go. year let's say boring as hell it's not like WWE Piece of shit, 2K. Fix, no John Cena. John Cena's in the game, dumbass. He's in the main menu. Can you just Google WWE Battlegrounds 30 FPS? Yeah, I was, that's what I was trying to do. The worst wrestling game ever made. Yeah, right. I'm done with 2K forever. What are you guys saying in the chat? 
So I played Resident Evil Village for the first time today, dear lord. It's really frustrating Captain Lou wasn't wrong. Yeah, I mean, he was the guy doing the drugs, telling people not to do drugs or they go to hell. <laughs> Fuck that stupid garbage Sony TV. Nobody in Japan even has Sony TV. They use Panasonic. Panasonic? Is it really? Oh, I'm gonna install on this shit. Yeah, if that's a it fucking frame. ran fine. I don't know what they did. They patched it and destroyed it. Well, we'll have to check out on PC. I'm gonna um let me install it on PC real quick and see if it Yeah, try it now. This way you let me know. Because I have yeah. it on Steam. I'm just remember curious. I bought it on Steam and it wasn't cross play? Now in the me options too. menu on Xbox it says cross play, so I don't even know yeah. what the fuck. I remember I I did the same thing on day one. We got it on like CD keys. Oh, or you something. know what? There was an update what? for it. Battlegrounds today. That's why I said let's play it. Because I oh. had a, I had eleven updates, and Battlegrounds was one of the updates. So that because I went to the updates, I was like, oh, Battlegrounds, let's play that. You could look in the beginning of the stream. It got the update today, so the update today probably fucking gimped the frame rate. It's a, it's already almost uninstalling on Steam, so I'll tell you in one second. Yeah, try it on there. And that'll have options, too, for FPS. I can't believe they locked it. Nobody's, like, I can't find anybody saying it. Maybe this update, like you said, maybe the one just now. Yeah, because this update it. was sitting in the updates manager. And 2K22 has an update. Which, why does 2K22 have an update when 23 has been out? There's <coughs> even someone playing it on the Steam Deck. I gotta finish oh, no. The Division because there's an update every fucking day for that game. It's really annoying. Oh, yeah. I don't even have that installed. Let's see. I got 10 seconds left. Any questions in the chat? Anybody want to talk about anything? They took NBA Jam offline in January. That sucks. Yeah, I know. Let's see what the options are in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. You lose. Yeah, let's see. I gotta get my controller for this. What, any movie or game lately? Yeah, I got Scream on 4K. The Scream from the 80s, not Wes Craven's Scream. And I got uh, Project Alpha on Blu-ray and Looney Tunes, A Collector's Choice, Volume 1. On Blu-ray. We also got Saints Row on uh, Xbox. You got yours, right? Yeah. It was $15 at Best Buy, so I got two copies. One for me and my wife, and Frank got one. So you can play that game online, but I think it's only two people at a time. So maybe yeah. me and you will stream it just to be dicks. Yeah, I mean, it's not a great game anyway, but... It's not 1080p. a good game. I made fucking uh, Sherman Clump. The Nutty Professor. So you know, what? 1920 by 1080p. It, it doesn't even have a frame rate option on PC, uh, but let's see what it's doing. Are you fucking kidding at. me? Launch a game. I want to try Launch an exhibition. Exhibition. When will you try your 470? I have to. Um, Here's the thing. I don't have a tripod up here. I'm going to be honest with you guys, okay? I moved up here 12 years ago. No, I'm sorry, 13 years ago, okay? These fucking houses do not have lights in the ceilings. Where I fucking come from and where Mike comes from and where Frank used to come from, the fucking lights are in the ceilings, okay? These houses they up here out. don't have the fucking lights in the ceilings. So I have these little shitty um, lamps 
that make the fucking room look like it's uh, uh the, the rooms look yellow. Okay? Back from the dead. What's up, man? How you doing? And um when I do unboxings, everything looks like shit in this house. So I have to go to the store. Now I gotta lug the graphics card, which is a big fucking box. I have a reference card. The box is gigantic. It's like the size of a Series X. Yeah, for real. The box itself is the size of a Series X. And it's heavy because they put all that packaging stuff all over it. So I had to literally take it to the store, set up the overhead camera, because it has lights in there, like the it has the fluorescent lights and stuff, and everything will look good. But then I have to unbox it. I have to, I have to go there, set everything up, unbox it for two seconds, then break everything down. I got. I also have to bring the Starfield headset and do that unboxing. Okay, it runs at sixty on here, so at least it's not a total loss. Why did they fucking lock it on the Xbox? It must be. It must have been this past patch, because I don't see anything. There was about a patch it. today. Yeah, that's what I mean. It had to be that. So maybe they'll fix it. I don't think they will, because nobody's gonna care. It's an old game. Yeah. But they locked the game at, at fucking thirty. I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm going to uninstall it off my Xbox. There's no point. We'll leave it on PC then, because we'll play it on PC next time. Yeah, it's only like 8 gigs, I think, on here. She has it on Steam, too. So Yeah, I'll just leave it installed. What, what do I have an Xbox for, right? These fucking games don't work. That's how I feel, too. What do it I sucks. have this machine for? It's a beautiful machine, but what do I have it for? If they're going to start patching all the old games and be 30 now, what the fuck? What happened? I want to see uh, what game did they lock at 30? WWF Battleground. WWE Battlegrounds. There was a patch for it today and they fucking locked it at 30. The One X ran it at 60. The Series X ran it at 60. Now that that patch hit today, the game runs at 30. Updates. Let me see. Why am I buying a console for if they're going to start locking shit? I'm really getting sick of this bullshit. This generation has been nothing but horse shit. The artistic choice. Yeah, for a game that was uh, had an open frame rate for like, uh, what was it, three years old now? It was already 60, yeah. It was already 60. It was locked at 30. I mean, it was it ran at 30 on um the 1S. And then on the 1X, because the frame rate was open, it ran at 60. It ran beautifully. And then on the Series X, it ran perfect. And now there was a patch today, and it's locked at 30 on the Series X. It's just not cool, man. What, what happened? Uh, are they going to just fucking decide tomorrow that Halo is going to be in 30 again? They could just take it off. Killer Instinct? Oh, yeah, you know, we'll bump the frame rate down. Nobody cares. People are literally just better off building PCs. You know what, man? I agree. At this fucking point, I agree. That, and it sucks because I love Xbox. I think the box is great. But, I mean, what what's going on here? I'll break out my fucking Xbox One if I want to play games like shit. I'm yeah. really getting tired of this. I really am. This generation has been dog shit. And it's not fair to really say that because we've had good games come out this year. The last couple of years have been really good games. But, I mean, are we really doing this? Imagine you wake up tomorrow and Diablo's locked at 30. I'll be really pissed off. By the way, that's going to be in Game Pass uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that's why I didn't buy it on Xbox because I was like, well, it'll get there eventually. I'm just trying to see... If there's a thing that says, okay, version 2005. Just type in WWE Battlegrounds update and just see if, like, there's any news articles. Because the update just came out. Yeah. Nobody seems to be talking about I it. Just like, updated, I, even... I just updated it on the stream <laughs> today. So, everyone here, I went to updates. When we started the stream, when we just went live, and WWE Battlegrounds was on here. It was on this list over here. And I hit 
update, and that's when I said to Frank, let's play this game. And then uh, it's no longer in 60. It's now locked at 30. On a machine that can run it. They didn't even put out... We had four-player cage match at 60 FPS on the Series X. No issues. And they fucking locked the frame rate. Why? Really getting tired of this. They didn't even put out patch notes for it yet on their official website. It just stops. And nobody's talking about the update. Yeah, they did it to fuck everybody that owned it. 2.0.0.5 patch notes, let's just say. No, there's nothing. Oh, wait, what's this? They that update is out is up for download on the switch thing, but I want to see the date. Well, I mean, that's not really going to tell you anything because the game runs at 30 regardless on the switch. Yeah, but I was just wondering if it really was for like today. Or like this week or whatever. It was, because it's in my fucking queue. It was in my updates queue. Let me check. Uh, Let's check out how, how big is... Uh, what's GTA? Like 90 fucking gigs? 12 gigs? How big is Halo? Is it bigger than Halo? 2.3 gigs? Alright, I'll update Halo. Uh, 2k. I can't believe they fucking locked the game at 30. I want to see if anybody, like, tweeted them about it or anything. They shipped the Switch updates to the wrong console. That's true. That's, you know what? That actually could have happened at some point. Maybe not Imagine. with this game, but with other games, yeah. Because, look, 22 has an update. Why does 22 have a fucking update? 23's been out for like three months. Four months. So why the hell are they updating 22? Are they locking this one? Can you imagine that? Imagine if all these updates locked all these games at 30. <laughs> Let me run to the restroom. Give me one second. Yeah. Oh. I'm surprised that nobody's talking about it. I mean, I know it's an old game, but you'd think somebody would be like, hey. Hmm. Let's see. Manage installation updates. Let's see if it tells me when it. Hmm. Strange. Very, very strange.
Gonna check something else real quick. I can see the chat if you guys have anything to say right now. If you have anything to say for yourselves. I'm just trying to check on this thing, see. Say here. Oh, Starfield. <laughs> Oh, I wish we had Starfield. Wow. Starfield, help me, Starfield. If Starfield was out, you'd be like, "Hey, do you want to play games?" And I'd be like, "See you later, sucker." <laughs> Let me see this. The 30 FPS patch could have been a mistake. Do you think they're really going to go back and fix that? <coughs> no, but I'm surprised that. That happens. Somebody has to make somebody very popular has to make a video for like anybody to get the attention. <coughs> but what's funny is when you jump out of the cage for like two seconds, it jumps to 60 FPS. Right. They probably enhanced it in 4K. They probably bumped up the fucking visuals and just like didn't even care about the frame rate. Because this game did run at 60. We played it a lot. It ran I'm beautifully sure we have on here. footage of it. Well, whatever. We have it on Steam, so... It just sucks yeah. that I, I bought an Xbox and I can't fucking play games properly on it. No. You know what I mean? Like, why? Why did we buy this shit? I'm really getting tired of this stuff. They need to fucking fix some stuff because this is bullshit. Really upset. As a paying oh, customer, yeah. it's not that like I'm I'm shitting on Xbox and shit on Xbox. I pay for these things. I have these things all over the house. And you know, imagine if Doom sixty four got patched to be in fucking ten frames, uh, thirty frames a second. Forget about. Do you that. have it on? Uh, do you have it on PlayStation? You can check there too. Wasn't it on PSN? It might have been. I'll check later when I go inside. I might not even have redeemed it because I think I might have missed that one. Let's turn on the PlayStation. Let's see if it's on. I'm just so curious to find out. See. Like this is it's driving me nuts. I'm trying to like look everywhere what to the see earth, like you what the what the Let's do the Robert De Niro. <laughs> it's not even that serious, but it's what just the, the principle. Mother, of what, it. What the, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's just so odd. What the what the fuck, you motherfucker? What the fuck? It's me, Robert De Niro. What the fuck, you motherfucker? You don't lock the frame rate, you motherfucker. <laughs> I want the frame rate, Robert De Niro, please. <laughs> I'm gonna punch a little frame rate. No! You, you know where that's from, right? No. What? Oh my god. Punch, I can't punch. I can't say it on here, but let's just say he threatened to punch somebody. And he said, I'm gonna punch a little face in. <laughs> I'm, now I'm just making fun that I'm gonna punch a little frame rate in <laughs> your collection. Let's see if it's in here. I'm gonna punch a little. You and frame your little rate frame rate in. are dead. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Oh, I have it on here. Let's do it. Okay, do it. And then I'm gonna try it on the Series S before uh, I go to bed. It can't install! It needs more space! Oh, delete something. It's only like 8 gigs. Change installation location! Hurry. Okay! <laughs> Alright, there! Let's out of here! 20 minutes, Even what the fuck? Oh, it's 5 minutes now. <laughs> it's a Even Steve doesn't tell you. It's a 20 minutes to jump down to 4 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Swept into the rapid de Niro. What the fuck? You're 20 minutes. What the fuck? Got, the PlayStation got scared. <laughs> it was like, oh, I better hurry up. It's like, oh shit, Robert De Niro's playing. I better hurry up. Yeah. You're gonna make me wait 20 minutes? It doesn't even <laughs> tell you on Steam like when the last update was. It sucks. I can't stand 30 FPS. Only play it with older tech like GameCube. Yeah, but GameCube had games that were in 60. PlayStation 2. 
a majority of their games ran at 60. That's why PlayStation yeah. 2 is considered PlayStation on steroids. PlayStation 1 on steroids. GameCube had quite a few games that ran at 30, but not many. A lot of them ran at 60. Same thing with PlayStation 2. A majority of the games ran at 60. Nintendo, NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, all those games ran at 60. I mean, there were some, some games that didn't, but a majority of them ran at 60 FPS. Like, 60 FPS isn't anything new. But, um... I mean, we're paying a lot of money for this stuff. It's not like I bought the Xbox for, like, 100 bucks. Right. You don't buy an NVIDIA Shield and expect, okay, this shit's gonna run at 60 FPS when I sideload fucking games on it. You know what you're getting into for $120 or $150 for the NVIDIA Shield. But come on, man. If anybody wants this game, by the way, it's $2.49 on CD keys. What's the point? I know. Oh, well, well on I'm PC. saying for PC, yeah. I think she has it, so I think we're good. But if not, we'll, we'll pick it up for her on there. Buy it for $2. But, man. We're all going to have to buy this shit on PC now. I don't even have the um, pass. I'm going to have to buy that pass again. But whatever. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> Most games I play on the cube was Resident Evil. Anyway, those are all 30. Yeah, because they're Resident Evil. Let me see reviews here. Spyro runs at 60 on the GameCube. Freaking uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2. 60. A lot of games ran at 60. If you get the premium edition of MK1, you'll get the DLC. No, you'll get whatever DLC comes out like within that season. And then they'll make, like, two more seasons of shit. And then they'll make the uh, Mortal Kombat 1XL bullshit. And you'll have to go out and buy the game all over again. Alright, let's play it. Let's Check see it if out. this is, runs at 60. Oh, shit. I gotta mute this. Okay, I muted it. Someone uploaded footage of this game two days ago, so on Xbox, so I'm gonna check this too and see. <clears throat> Look, if you want Mortal Kombat 1, just buy it and have fun with it. I, like I told you guys, I'm not gonna gatekeep, so if you guys wanna play a game, go ahead and buy it. I have no problem with it. But, I mean, we all know where this goes. They always make like 25 versions. And Street Fighter 6, there's gonna be like Ten more versions of that game. <clears throat> We're all getting robbed. I gotta accept all these stupid terms. Yeah. Okay, this guy was playing it two weeks ago on Xbox, and it was still at 60. So yeah, I don't know so what happened. So that new update fucked everything up. Oh, wait, is it? Uh, all kinds of dips. Excuse me. Okay, play... Exhibition. What is this? Let's do a, just a one-on-one -on -one cage, right? One -on -one. Oh. Still cage one-on-one. -on -one. CPU. Well, when you, when you go to select the character, it's in 60. Yeah. Oh my fucking god, we know. I don't have anybody anymore because I don't have the pass on here. Yeah. So I don't have, like, Goldberg or anybody. Oh, that's a yeah, Yoko Suna. Oh, it came out of the controller. Sting's gonna pay. <laughs> Sting, you're gonna pay, buddy. Why is there a rooster on Sting's freaking icon? A rooster? Ludacris jumping in front of Randy Orton over here.
Let's see. Let's see if my PlayStation can handle it. Bro, it looks like it's at 60. Let me try one more thing, too. It's at 60. No. Yep. I got to see something on here. I'm going to try. So you just did an exhibition, like, one-on-one? -on -one? In a cage. Okay. I keep getting these gonna... fucking menus, man. I just want to play. Yo, let me play. Uh, oh, yeah, that happened to me where it tells you all the tips. Yeah, like, it's at 60 oh, FPS. Gotta... Look at this. It runs fine. Okay, hang on. A... Oh, hang on a second. I'm going to check something on this Xbox here. Yo, why are you gimping out Xbox, man? What is this, some Starfield shit? Were you, did you have it installed to the internal or like the SSD or did you have it on like a? I think it installed to the SSD, not the internal okay. one, the NVMe that's in here. It's at 60 on here, but it looks like shit. Whereas it looked good on the Xbox and ran at 60 before. Yeah. Let me see something here. Let's hit this. This guy's whooping my ass. What's going on? Oh, because I'm not fighting you, that's why. Resting. <laughs> you can't just go to AW and live. <laughs> oh. That's unbelievable that it's running at 60 on... Can I turn the music off so I can? I'm gonna see something because I did um, I did like the campaign, so I want to see if the exhibition it runs at sixty. How did you here. not do the exhibition? Because I just went to the next like single player option. Oh man, you got to do exhibition. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway, but I still want to know. Well, maybe that works better in there. I don't know. Well, then we'll you used know. To work at least online though, it's sixty. I don't understand the. Issue. That's what I mean. Like, it's not going to change it, but I still just want to find out. Uh, that, unless, like, imagine there's they, since the game is like old, they've abandoned it, and there's just like one engineer working on it, and he's a PlayStation fanboy, and he's like, "I'm going to get them back." <laughs> yeah, for a game that's three dollars on sale all the time. <laughs> Oh, I could turn the audio on. <laughs> nope, there's still music playing. Even though you hit no music. <laughs> the music didn't save. Apply changes, you fucking idiot. Jesus. I didn't know I had to hit a damn button. <laughs> Can't believe this. Get back here, Sting. You're not allowed to. Oh. Damn. Well, this just goes to show you PlayStation's better. They win. Yeah, they're so good that they won't be in business in another 15 years. Nope, but they have 2K Dude, Battlegrounds. That fucking deal goes through next week. They are fucked. Oh, uh, yeah. They are fucked. They, they didn't because sign they didn't any sign deals. they didn't sign a 10-year deal. They're not going to get Call of Duty anymore. Oh. Everyone else is going to get Call of Duty on their services. And the PlayStation guys are going to get pissed because they could have had it for free with Plus. And Sony had the balls to say the other day, oh, we're not putting our games in day and date because our strategy is working for us. It's like, you guys are so fucking Great. stupid. You are so stupid. It's working now, but it's not going to work later. You know what they should do, Frank? You know how they can make even more money? How? The So the highest PlayStation tier is like, what, 120 a year? Yeah. Bump that shit up another 20 bucks. Okay? Yeah. And only that tier gives you the day and date games. The other tiers don't. Everyone would subscribe that's and they could get rid of the lower That's how you fucking make the money and that's how it works out for you. 
Okay. Yeah, because if you think about it, even if you bump it up another twenty bucks over twelve months, what is it? Not even it's a couple extra bucks even a month. Even if you Everyone don't, even if you just sell the premium, whatever the fuck it's called, there's like five tiers. Whatever yeah, the which highest is really tier is annoying. called, which we have, plus premium or whatever, at one twenty a year. Even if you just put the games day and date on that tier, and yeah. say, hey, the other tiers don't won't give you the day and date. But you can upgrade for X amount of dollars. You know how much money they'll make? Oh my god. It'd be insane. And you can't stack on any more because they won't let you. So they're gonna get that money every fucking year. Yeah. Imagine Spider Man 2. You'd be paying $120 for it. You wouldn't be paying $70. You'd be paying $120. You'd be paying more money for it. Yep. And you don't even fucking own it, right? Quote unquote own it. That's and then the you want to buy it, you're going to double dip. And then you're going to get on PC, you're going to triple dip. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like, why would they not just do that? Because they're fucking stupid, that's why. I mean, look at us. We're buying all these Starfield things. <clears throat> Even if I don't get the collector's edition, I'm still buying that $35 pass to pay it early. The Spider-Man controller. But Starfield why don't they... made the headset, they made the thing... PlayStation can make the Spider-Man plates, and they're not going to do it. But they could even do the thing where you oh, pay thirty-five them, bucks and you get it early. I would have a Spider-Man controller and a Venom controller, okay? Because right yeah. there, it's eighty dollars a piece. Because they sell the controllers for more money. But Microsoft, they don't want to do figured it. Figured out the Microsoft figured out the formula with that early access thing. It's Microsoft just genius. Microsoft made all their money back on that fucking game just by selling you the controllers. Yeah, but also, too, like, the think about how much money they're going to make. People are going to buy the pass, which they're selling physically, which is crazy. And then you don't even own the game, but you paid $35 already toward it. Like, they're just going to swim in money. I'm going to do four just from that. cage match. I'm trying it on the, the internal right now. I like so reading stuff. Ponies though. for 79 Remake Last of Us 1, Remake Remastered, Redo 2, for $100, they would buy it. They would. The game that they all hate, they would run out and buy for 100 bucks. Well, it wasn't that bad. It was bad. <laughs> it first, wasn't that bad. The first one's way better than the second one. The first one's like a horror game, and the second one's like a freaking Netflix love story. They look at you, man. Yeah, we got Sting. Even on the internal drive, this game takes forever to load. Shane McMahon was in WCW. Okay. He appeared on Nitro. Bro, if you told me Shane McMahon would be on Nitro, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, dude. And that motherfucker closed Nitro. He was the last person you saw on Nitro, ever. That is pretty insane. Everyone's locked. Let me see. Is there another WCW guy? WCW. Besides, uh... Mysterio? WCW? <laughs> he was in WCW. Where's Ron Mysterio at? Here he is. Yeah, it's definitely 30 on Xbox, no matter what you do. I installed it to the internal, and I'm in a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, it's funny, because when you select your wrestler, it's in 60. But once yeah. you get into the match, it's fucking 30 again. You think EA is done with Battlefield? No. They'll keep it around. Why? Why did this happen? Hey, yeah, it's in 60. Wow. Oh. Yeah, I'm four player at 60 FPS. Beautiful. It's how it should run. How it used to run on Xbox. 
me see real quick if I can. Um... Can you join I don't my like game that. for PC? Why don't we try that real quick? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll try. It's a crossplay on the Xbox, so I don't know. This is how the game is run on Xbox. No issues. I'll tell you too, I'll I'll install it on my Series S just for the heck of it, just to see if something different happens later, but it just I'll, runs at a little bit of a lower resolution, but the Xbox ran beautifully. At sixty FPS with a higher resolution. I don't know what happened, man. Oh, I got music too, even though I turned it off. Crap. You gotta hit the triangle or Y button. Right, let me see. So if I hit options, crossplay, yes. Oh, you know what? Didn't it always have crossplay, but you can't join someone's match specifically? I mean, it'll probably work now because we're the only two people playing. I don't remember. Or I assumed they had crossplay. I don't fucking remember. Or only I don't. Maybe it was crossplay only with consoles and not PC. I don't know. Give me a second. I'll jump in um, online. Thing. I hit friend online. Let me see if it. Uh, ask me to invite us. Come on, Sting. I don't know if this is gonna work, but. Do local player or secret? Yeah, we lost Shane. Shane Old Mac. Beautiful. Oh, level two. One of my levels on Xbox. I was like level twelve or something. Because we used to play the game all the time on Xbox. Alright, let's see if this online thing works. Oh yeah, it's only... Owns the game? Played together? Yeah, because I, I think that was the problem. So it said crossplay. Yeah, it said crossplay, but it's only like, um, there's something weird about it. There's some reason that it didn't work. Well, how the hell is it crossplay if you can't even invite your friends? That was what people complained about. Love we'll crossplay enabled between Xbox and PC. So yeah, Xbox and Windows there's PC. There's no crossplay option in um in the PlayStation version because they yeah. didn't want to pay the extra ten grand or thirty grand, whatever they wanted. Well, this is fucking ridiculous. I just can't believe they gimped out the Xbox version. I like it. I, it doesn't make any sense. Let me see what version this is on. Please just let me play. It's fucking playing copyrighted music in the main menu. Like, come on, man. Yeah. What's happening to me? Version 17.00. That's the old version. It is? Yeah. 2.5. 2005 is the newest version. On Switch and Xbox, at least. Shit, did it download the update? See if you get if there's an update. Then we'll really know if that was it. But you're gonna break your game. Maybe you shouldn't do it. <laughs> Maybe I should do it. Update history. 
There's no dates on these either. Yeah, I know. I was just, I was trying to look for like a date before, but I couldn't find it. Well, I'm seeing right now if campaign runs at 60 on PC. But I don't trust it that there's no option. RWK, good night, man. Thanks for hanging out. See you later, Always. dude. I can't believe I'm still awake. Holy crap. Well, it, we, I need, we ran into this I issue. No. Yeah. Out of all the games. Let me put the Xbox back on. Yeah, this PC is definitely 60. So that's good at least. But I can't believe it. I can't believe it's not bottom. Wait, so did you... Yeah. Did it have an? Th there was no update on PlayStation at all. No, it's just downloaded and installed, and it ran at sixty. Oh, yeah, because you just installed it fresh. Okay. And I checked for updates. There were no updates. Interesting. Oh, I guess this. it's just broken. I'll download it again. I just did it before, and it it was two point whatever two point oh oh five. Let me see on the, um, even the Switch site doesn't tell you when that update came out. It was recent because it wasn't in there before. Yeah, and also, too, they didn't update it in the thing. Um, they didn't, like, update it in the Switch thing. They just have it there. Oh, you know what? Maybe on that PS4 site it'll tell you if when it came out. Because don't they have the updates under the games? I don't know. Let me see. I'm gonna check. 2K Battlegrounds. Version 1.6.00. Oh, oh, that's the older version. But that's the only update they have here. So I don't know. Yeah, it's down only 2005. Damn you. Yeah, so maybe PlayStation uh, just didn't get that update for whatever reason. Yeah, because here, even the Switch has update 2005. Well, PC is the way to go then. Yep, as usual. Very, very weird. Oh, hell yeah, Vance. Vance? <laughs> Vance? <clears throat> so strange. Man, this air conditioner is crazy. Yeah, I saw the picture you posted. It looks pretty good. Yeah, but it, it makes the room like an ice box, and I could turn off, turn it off, and I'm good for like an hour at least. That's what you needed. The old air conditioner, I had to keep turning it off and turning it back on. Like I would have to mute the mic during the podcast and turn it off for a few minutes. Yeah, you didn't. I had it on the whole time last night, and you guys barely heard it. I didn't hear it. Even on their Twitter, they show like a thing for, of Edge, and he's in sixty frames. Like <laughs> they're so stupid. But they haven't updated their Twitter since twenty twenty one. Well, yeah, I mean that's before the freaking patch. This update yeah, literally came out this week. Yeah. But none of these that's... people are gonna let them know. Like, hey guys, um. This is what happened. They need to, like, give you patch notes with every update. Like, all these companies. Like, it's bullshit. They updated their website April 21st, 2023, that the game would be down for, like, a week. That's all the last thing they said. They don't have any patch notes or anything. Like, the other patches have patch notes, every single one of them. Let's see what this update is. Yeah, it's 2021. 36 FPS.
Well, let's try again, Keenan. It's me, JR Keenan. <laughs> well, this game can go in the trash unless you're on PS5 or PC. I got it on Steam, but I don't know if I have the Battle Pass on Steam. I don't. And I don't feel like spending Is that on CD keys for cheap or what? The Battle no, Pass? No, I just looked. What about the Deluxe Edition on CD keys? Um, I think you know, we I have think to buy a game that. all over again because they fucking didn't patch it properly. Well, that's why... Yeah, I don't know. Like the game I'm trying works. to see if... Um, it's on sale somewhere right now. but I don't know if it's the Deluxe Edition, let me see. Uh, excuse me. It's on sale at the North Pole. <laughs> Santa. Roller pass, let's see. G King Kingwin has the pass for eleven cents, but I don't know. Kingwin's good. Get two of them. Sold by Mac and Cheese and they only take Visa. Yeah, I don't know about that. No, I don't do that though. No, it seems like a fake thing. It's not fake, it's just you don't want anybody having your number. No. Eleven cents. Yeah, because when you select your guy, it's in sixty. Maybe they will. Um, I don't think they're gonna fix it, but it's just odd that PlayStation doesn't have that update. It's like what happened. Yeah, because I'm gonna select Austin. He's in sixty right now. Yeah, the main the character select is in sixty, like it used to be. We'll do some two thousand one fun, awesome versus Booker T. In the WWF. Yeah, of course, CD keys doesn't have the deluxe edition, but I don't think you get. Do you even get the pass in the deluxe edition? I don't know. Whatever. I don't. No, I don't think so. Yeah, so it doesn't even matter anyway. Yeah, it's in thirty. You could tell by the intro. Yeah. It looks like they made... It looks like they bumped up the graphics. But the problem is that the price of the performance. Right. But it's not even like X enhanced. Like, it doesn't even have like the little X and S logo. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just looking for anything to like see, but nobody there's nothing. It's just too new. Well, if there's a fucking update then you know they fixed I'll, it. Yeah. This. I'll check tomorrow and see if um I'll like Google it again and see if anybody Says anything. So I, don't, I don't understand. And I'll try it on my Series S just for the heck of it. See what happens. These fucking developers suck. You know what, man? Fuck that crunch shit. Crunch these fucking the, bastards. Well, this is not crunch. crunch this game has fucking been out. legs over their heads. Oh, I'm glad that we figured out this uh, problem. It's bullshit. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't hate the play. Oh, you're on PC, right? Don't hate the play. I hate the game. Well, until then, we're uninstalling. Yeah, I'm just Googling it, but there's nothing, so whatever. I could stay here all night trying to figure it out. I ain't going to help. Uh. <laughs> No, what the hell is this? I have to sleep for days. Any questions on the chat? I can't believe they turn around to that. 
I'm going to I'm going to keep researching this. So everybody here and obviously you, I'm going to let you guys know what I find out cuz I I don't understand. If PlayStation had the same update, I'd be like, "Oh, it's just messed up, whatever." But it's just so weird. Like how unless like you said, since it's so new, maybe it didn't even roll out to PlayStation yet. Yeah, but still, I mean, that's not the way that this game was originally. Oh. Why would you make a patch that does that? But don't forget, too, PlayStation is the only one that's not cross-play. So maybe it's on a different version always. I don't know. It shouldn't be that way. You know what I say? Fuck PlayStation. And their stupid yeah. fucking games and their dumbass controller. And the yeah. big, fat, ugly fucking boat. Yeah. PlayStation's done for, man. I know people don't... They don't get it when I say that, but they're done. They're done. They're about to be. That deal goes through. It's over. That's it for them. That's it. It's the beginning of the end. And you know why it's over? Because they jumped in front of fucking oncoming traffic and tried to stop that deal. Yep. If they would have just shut up and mind their own business, they'd be all right. They should have just signed the papers. Jim Ryan had to fucking be dumb and act stupid. And now it's going to cost them the company. We don't need you to sign the paperwork. I'm here to block your deal. All right, well gonna block a lot of shit and you won't have a job in a few more months and he goes to japan he said the minute that deal goes through they're gonna fire his ass you know that yeah he's gonna go spend time with his family yeah i mean it's over and he knows it when he goes to japan and he goes in front of those guys does he go more work my lord (laughs) pretty much he's he's the peons from warcraft we can't compete they just said too that they're doing the the whole cloud thing. They're testing yeah, their, their games in the cloud right now. It's a little late. Ugh. Yeah, I know, but when Microsoft does it, it's evil. When fucking Sony does it, hooray. Yeah. I'm sick of the double standard. Me too. You are telling me. How about people just buy games and play them and shut up? That's how it used to be when things were fun. Xbox has all these games come out this year. Sony's got one game coming out. Great. A game that people aren't even going to fucking buy. So they're just ignoring the UK BS. Okay, so here's what happened. They got a temporarily... um, what is this thing called? It was it was uh, injunction. They got an injunction, but the person that filed the injunction was the lawyer that threw out the gamers' lawsuit. So basically, the lawyer that filed the injunction is like on the side of Microsoft, and um, because that injunction was filed first by them, it's basically like really good news for Microsoft. And the the final decision is going to be made on June 22nd, whether they can proceed or not with the FTC. If they get the okay, they could close the deal, even without the CMA or all that bullshit. It's going to be nuts. But we're going to know by the end of this month whether they're going to be able to purchase the company or not. And then that's it. We don't have to really deal with this anymore. It's going to be official or not official, and we're going to move on with our lives. Finally. Yeah, finally. That's what he said in the chat. The alchemist said in the chat room, he said finally. I'm ready to move on from it at this point. Yeah. It's been a year of just nonsense. Basically, when they filed that injunction... That means, like, it it's suspended from being purchased, but, like, a, deci- a decision needs to ma- be made, like, now. 
Yeah, Whereas so they can't draw the it F- out. The FTC wanted to draw that shit out until next year. Right. Until next, like, July or August or something crazy. Yeah. But Microsoft needs that shit done now. So, By the end of this month, you might be getting stuff in Game Pass. It might all be happening. I, I think the beginning of July. If Yeah. If this is able to proceed, that's it. They could tell the CMA to go fuck themselves and not do business over there. Then Sony didn't sign the 10-year deal. So they're going to lose Call of Duty. After this year, they're going to lose Call of Duty. And that's it. They're just not going to... PlayStation guys, they love spending $70 on games. Well, they're going to have to go out and fucking buy Call of Duty when everyone else is getting it on their service. Yep. So. That's it. Bravo. You know what I love? These Sony guys are fucking broken. They're like, oh, I pay for quality. <laughs> no, you fucking don't. I have to steal a lot of money to buy these games. Or baby mama's mom, but baby buying you the fucking games. Yeah. If not, we have to hear the rest of, the, of our lives. Yeah, you don't have to do that anymore. We'll know on the 22nd of June next week. What's today? The 16th? 16th. Yeah, you'll know you'll know by next week. And that'll be it. It'll be over. Yep. Should we do a celebration stream? When is the 22nd? What day is that? It's next Thursday. But it could go... So they have the, the 22nd, it starts, and then they keep going every day until... Microsoft is good, so uh, it could draw out like two or three days past that. But it, no, it's not I thought be the twenty second was the final decision. I just read something that said it could go to like the twenty. Go on Let Twitter and type that shit in. Yeah, because somebody uh, had a diagram of like the days, like a calendar with all the days on it, what the days meant, and I thought they might. I thought it said the twenty second was the final decision. See. You might be right. It might be starting now, and then they have a certain amount of days to. This was from a day ago. Oh, that's for the CMA appeal. We don't need to worry about that. Just type in Xbox FTC on Twitter. Yeah, I'm seeing all this stuff. That's probably what I read. Let me see. I think they need five days to prepare prior. Yeah, and I think I saw this thing about they're going to appeal the CMA in July, but it doesn't matter. They could still buy it before that. That's they could just to close. Appeal. If the FTC thing is like done, they could close. And right. They can always like go back to the CMA and do shit. But I think they want to get the CMA squared away. Okay, the court will hold a pre-evidentiary hearing status on Wednesday, June 21st. Then the hearing will commence on Thursday, June 22nd. It will continue on the 23rd, 27th, and 28th, and 29th as needed. So if they want, if Microsoft wants extra days, they could keep it going, but they're probably just going to say whatever. So it, it could close on the 22nd. You're right. And then it says the court anticipates each court day will end around 3 okay, p.m. Okay, the minute that that shit closes, or if if it doesn't close and they fucking lose it, we gotta go live. Yeah, because this says um, this says that they have to close it before the 13th of July or the 18th of July for some reason. What did I just say? See, they have to like... Oh, uh, Microsoft needs to close the deal by July 18th or they'll need to renegotiate and then Microsoft will have to pay Activision $3 billion. Yeah, they're not paying so, them the $3 billion. No, so you're right. It's going to probably end. It'll end one of those days. But it's going to end in the daytime, so. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. We'll jump on here and we'll fucking tell them. Thursday, really? June 22nd. Yeah. Yeah, it could, so that's the earliest. And then the latest it could be is the 29th if Microsoft requests the days. But I don't think they're going to need that many days if they already know what's going on. They're fucked, man. 
Yeah, this is happening. It's gonna end. Yeah. We're gonna have an answer. And that's gonna be it. Then we'll come on here live and we'll brag and we'll throw a party and all that. <laughs> and if they well, fucking you lose it, cake. we'll come on here and be like, well, Time for them to go fix fucking Halo. Court grants the FTC's request for a temporary injunction. An injunction. Okay. A jun- yeah, so that's junction box. <laughs> I guess that's good. Of course it's good. Are you saying my company is not good? FTC wanted to limit it to two days. Microsoft asked for five days. Okay, so. Microsoft was granted five days instead of four. Okay, well, that's good then. That's what they wanted. They got it, so. Yep, and then that's it. We're going to have a a definitive answer on what they're going to do. Finally. Hopefully everything works out. We get Call of Duty on fucking Game Pass. They need a fresh influx of stuff on Game Pass badly. Sony's in big fucking trouble. Not only are they in big trouble for that, but they're being investigated for um, unlawful practices as far as selling their games and shit like that. They're not being competitive enough. Either way, it's not going to be good. At all. No. A PS5 book cake. Alchemist. David R. says a PS5 cake. Game Pass has been sucking lately with new games. Yeah, you say that, but look. Look what's coming. It has been sucking lately, but it's not going to suck forever. Look at the fucking screen right now. Look at the screen. Do these games look like they suck? No, those are all excellent games. Even though he made fun of Payday 3, it's still Payday. Yeah. Why is it Forza, apparently is like Bloodborne? Starfield, I installed it, but I didn't... Fucking uh, Texas Chainsaw, Exo Primal, Forza. A lot of people like the City Skyline shit. I don't like it. And I don't know if this lamp, Lamplighters League... Oh. What the hell that shit is. But, I mean, look, this is just a handful of games that's going to debut right here. Yeah, we're definitely getting good stuff. Yeah, I mean, you're right. There is a lot of shit in Game Pass. But at the same time, man, we got a lot of stuff hitting. It's coming. Starfield's going to be big. It already sold a shit ton of Xboxes. Can't wait for... Everyone's excited for it, and they should be. So excited. I'm getting on that ship, and that's it. I'm going to be gone. Starfield! (laughs) Star-fucking-field! Star-fat. I said Starfield! Todd Howard has saved Xbox. Yeah, I saw people saying online they're calling him God Howard because he made the. They've been calling him that for years. (laughs) That's so funny, God Howard. (laughs) Uh. So the new Texas Chainsaw he says on here, right? Why are all these holidays on here? Three, it's three ninety nine or four ninety nine if you want the exclusive version. So I got this on Blu-ray. It's right next to me, actually. But the unrated version, the only digital. So I'm gonna have for to four pick. bucks, you might as well grab it. Yeah, I got the movie for ten. So for another four dollars, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna get it on there too. Watch it. I need to like take a night and turn off like 
my phone and tell everybody to F off and watch like 10 movies. There's so many movies I want to watch. And I just haven't been able to do it. Yeah. I got to watch that. I got to watch. Um, I don't know. I have a whole list. I want to watch the 2003 one also. It was good. Yeah, I never saw You're it. like hearing so. that camera go off every five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> In the commercial for the 2003 one. Yeah. You just hear that fucking noise. <laughs> you know what's funny? What? Why is the cover for 2003 the same cover as Hannibal? It's the they're, exact they're same it, cover. ripped it off. What's the bonus? Is it just the DVD features? I definitely have to pick this up. What's included? I knew I saw this cover somewhere before. I mean, what's on the blue right here? Are these on my Blu ray? Tex ass chancel. 1080p widescreen, encoded English. There's no special features on here. On which one? Oh, the bonus the thing? Fucking Blu ray has no special features. Yeah, it's not on there. Wow. I guess I'll just buy this one then for the extra dollar. Yeah. But it has a 3D Blu ray in there too. The camera snap. Yeah, Richard, don't you remember the commercial for the O3? All you fucking heard was meow, meow. <laughs> it made it seem like there was an animal running around in the friggin' trailer. I have to watch it. Let me buy this right now. So I don't forget. Yeah, you could just do it. Yeah, we got it. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know what we have to watch? Richard, pay attention. Judgment Night. Uh -oh. Judgment Night. There's an NES in that, in that movie. I've never seen that movie. It's with Emilio Estevez and um, that fucking fat guy. Ooh. Let me look it up. It's, it's, Judgment you, Night? it's always free on YouTube, like every once in a while. I have it on Blu ray, though. Let me see if I've ever even like seen that. Cuba Gooding's in there. He just got fucking. Oh. Oh, I've seen the cover, but I've never seen this movie. And Dennis Leary's in it. Emilio Estevez, Cuba Gooding, Dennis Leary. Yeah, okay. I've never seen this. Oh, there's no E. But I've seen the cover. When did this come out? Yeah. It's a long time ago. How is it not on here? No, there's no E in judgment. Like, how is it not on here? Will they pull it? You can still get it on Blu-ray for eighteen dollars. Yeah, but I want to show the chat room. I have it uh, on Blu-ray. That's why I said we should watch it. Yeah, I've never seen Dude, it. Dude, so. Judgment Night is awesome. This Leary is the bad guy. Yeah, I know. There you go. Cannibal's awesome. He knows exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Every time. Cannibal, you need to come and watch the fucking movies with us, man. Yeah, you should come hang out sometime. Come hang out at the shop. Yeah. And come watch these films. 
when Anthony's not in the UK brushing his teeth. <laughs> what else did First I see? Movies, Some... Judgment. Something else was coming to 4K that I was surprised about, but I don't remember what it was now. Is it? No, it's not night like good night. That'd be awesome. We're not that far from each other. Yeah, man. Oh, they're re-releasing Jurassic Park for the 30th anniversary. I'm a total movie dork. I used to be, man. Then I lost my hearing in my ear, and I stopped watching movies like crazy. But now that I'm married, my wife wants to watch movies with me so that when we're done watching the movie, we can talk about the movie. We seem to always do that. What about Dutch? Hi. Is Dutch on here? I think I own it on here. That's an awesome movie. I saw that in the theaters. Bro, there's some bootleg shit called Dutch. <laughs> Let me go to my movies app. See what I own. Oh, yeah, we knew about Swamp Thing coming up 4K. Swamp Thing! I told you about the Swamp Thing friggin' DVD, right? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. What happened? So there's a scene where they're in the strip club and there's nudity. Okay. Right? When they fucking MGM released it on DVD, they accidentally released it as rated G. And people oh, no. fucking got outraged. And uh, and that version was gone for like 300 at one point. Oh my god. This is a misprint. That's hilarious. Evil so Dead... Weird. Evil Dead 2, that, that movie Gamer was free with Game Pass perks. Yeah, I redeemed it. Uh, I don't think I did. It's still, it was, I did today. Oh, dude. I just then. did it. Weird Science is coming to 4K. That's, That's good. a pretty good movie. All right, let me show you guys what I got here. Hard Balls. Oh, these are all your purchased movies? These are all my purchases. Oh, you got a lot of good stuff on there. I got more. What are you doing over there with all those movies? Well, I bought them in case I went back to work after the whole deal. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm still doing an appointment only because I don't feel like going back. You have eight-legged freaks. <laughs> I think it was like a dollar or something. <clears throat> Remember that commercial? I never, I never, I get freaks. I never saw the film. <laughs> Me neither, but the commercial is like overplayed. <laughs> Stakeout only Stakeout Two is on Blu-ray, not this one. Ugh. Excuse me. Trapped in Paradise. That's the movie I was talking about the other day. Oh, Rodney Dangerfield, right there. Ladybugs. I have that on Blu-ray. Yeah. Showtime is fucking funny. Dumb and Dumber, but the this is the PG thirteen version. Hey, you have the Brendan Fraser Looney Tunes. I never saw it, so I got Oh, it. my God. I never saw Uncharted. Uncharted was 10 bucks. I never saw it. I Do I even have this on 4K? I think I bought it on 4K. I don't even remember. Maybe I didn't. Oh, Maybe Beverly Bones Hills Cop 3 is coming that. out. I forgot to tell you. Remember on we 4K? were like, where is it? Yeah, I think it, I'll tell you right now. When I, have, I have the I other two on four K. Me too, and we were like, "Where's the third one?" Let me check my account. Let me see if I. Have uh, I just saw it the other day that it was coming out. Let me Google it. I do have the Uncharted movie on disc. I don't know where it is. I guess I got it when it was ten. Space Invaders is awesome. Yeah, I, I, I used to watch that with your sister as a kid. Frank. Space Invaders? Yeah. I have that on Blu-ray, too. 
where is the I don't see it, but I, I the other day I saw it somewhere. They they probably just didn't put it up yet. But it is coming out. So I got the season one of Napoleon Dynamite. Oh yeah, you showed me that cartoon. I think Carol. I watched an, an episode when I it was out. I think this documentary Bowling Combine, I think that shit was free on here. Oh yeah. Whatever is free, I'm going to grab. I don't even care. Yeah, me too. I bought Shrek like an idiot. This I I don't know if this was free or not. 10 minutes Michael Chiklis and Bruce I Willis. Just, yeah, I was wondering what that is. I want to see that. Well, watch it. I never watched it. I just grabbed yeah. it. If it's free, I'm going to grab this shit. The Xbox thing was free. I got the new Chucky. I never watched it. I never saw it either, and that's Mark Hamill in there. I got Eddie Murphy Raw. I never saw it, but I heard of it. I heard oh, that we should watch popular. that. I've seen it. It's so offensive, but funny. Big, they filmed that at Rye Playland. What's Ghoulies? I never saw Maggie. I never saw 10 Cloverfield Lane. Maggie? Oh, that movie is just really sad. It's not that good. Obviously, I saw the Freddies. I got Hercules in New York with Arnold, his first movie. I didn't watch it. I've never seen it either. Half-Baked? They're fucking making another one with nobody in it. Yep. Oh, Super Fast is... This is the movie we watched, or we didn't watch. It's a rip on Fast and the Furious. It's fucking funny. Oh, yeah. I remember you telling me about that. Bound and Straight Out of Compton, Bridge of Spy. I never saw these movies. You have a Outer, lot of good movies Little on Giants here. on here. The Toy Story stuff, I think it was like $15 for all the Toy Stories together. That's a good deal. History of Vines, I, ne- I never saw this. I heard it was good. Sneakers, I never saw. I heard it was good. Ready to Rumble's on here. Scary Stories, all that. A Blow, I never saw. I heard that was good. Somebody told oh, me that in 2000. Is good. Someone told me in 2001 to watch Blow, and I never watched it. You should watch it. It's a great movie. Pee Wee Herman's in it. I know he's in it. <laughs> Knifed Corp, that's with Kane Hodder. It's a horror movie. I think that was free or a dollar or something. I was telling you, man, I'm ready to go back to work. Well, I was ready to go back to work and watch all these. Yeah, all these Bayonetta, movies. there's a Bayonetta movie I didn't know about. Little Giants. Yeah, it's still not on Blu-ray. Can you believe it? Street Fighter. We've got the Halo thing was free. Coneheads. Terminator yeah, Dark Fate. That's how I watched it. On Xbox. That's Arnold's last movie, man. His last uh, Terminator movie. Yep. Let me redeem this thing. Where do I go? Xbox it's perky nipples? Perkies. Yeah. Game Pass! Perks! It's Gamer. gonna give you a code. So I don't know if you want to put up the snacks or something. I don't have the snacks, but I got the corrupted TV screen. Perfect. Claim. Redeem. Check. You can't redeem this movie because it sucks. (laughs) Can you imagine that? I never saw a gamer, so I'm redeeming it. I'm telling you, whatever they give me for free, I'm going to add. I don't care. Oh, God. AEW is coming soon. I ain't buying that. Fuck that game. There's no other free movies on here? Not in the perks. Costume pack for Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, I got that, too. I'm going to do that right now. It's funny. I did all this today. I saw it. I was like, whoa. Good thing I remembered about that gamer. Yeah. Nice. Nice having Game Pass gas. The Elder Scrolls. 
But this is not the Elder Scrolls. This is not the Elder Scrolls. How dare you? This is not the Elder Scrupulous. I might as well check the other day. I can't believe I'm still awake right now. This is insane. Well, we didn't think we were going to friggin' have an issue with this frame rate thing. Oh. It's another problem that we found that we can't solve, unfortunately. But fall asleep tomorrow. We at can like... solve it by getting rid of the Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we could do. Deal of the day sucks. France. We come from France. There you go. Yo, you know Rotten Tomatoes gave that movie like a two like certified How? rotten score. It's like, dude, fuck you. Fuck your website. That's Nobody such a cares. good movie. You guys fucking suck ass, and that's it. How do you not like Coneheads? It's awesome. I it's don't like know. A, that's a movie of a generation. That literally, yeah. literally brought in like two or three generations of SNL. And it was a good fucking movie. It's hilarious. It's not like this artsy fartsy fucking Romeo and Juliet shit. But it's nope. a funny ass comedy. It didn't have to be grotesque either. I and mean, there was some stuff that was nasty, but not like stick. Like you know how movies nowadays they gotta show like balls and well, stuff you don't see and like the Conan's <laughs> taking a dump in the middle of the street or <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> stuff like that. They show like all that crap in movies now. I'm not like a prude, but the comedies rely so heavily on just disgusting stuff that it's not funny. Well, I'm trying to eat, and then they show nasty stuff, and it's like, well, I'm you just grossed me out. Yeah. Or movies like, that, like Coneheads don't really do that. No, they're just funny on their um <laughs> think, their own jokes. Beldar's crackless ass. Yeah, but he had the little antenna dials on his fucking back, so there you go. Yeah, yeah those little nipple things. Oh man, they should put cone heads in Starfield. You <laughs> go to Remulac and fight that yeah, thing. Well, I'm gonna, okay, you just gave me the million dollar idea. We're gonna okay. make Beldar. Yeah, we have to watch the movie and make that ship that he has. Yeah, uh, if they have like customization and you can make Beldar, that would be incredible. <laughs> yeah, we got to give him the cone head. Yes. See? Now everyone's got to buy Starfield. There he goes. Cannibal Ritual says, yes, Frank. Yeah. Uh, let me look up the ship. Oh, we can make this ship, dude. This looks like... This is totally doable. This is it like, literally is like a have been fucking multiplayer so we can invade each other's ships. Could you imagine if, like, I show up in the Enterprise and you're in the cone? We gotta make, each like, other. Sinbad shop. <laughs> and Beldar gets the friggin' um, uh oh god, what are they called? Not suspenders. What what are they called? Overalls. Yeah. And he shows up. Oh man, we could total this ship would be so easy to make. France, we Wait, come from France. Somebody actually have a model of this. That's so Yo, cool. You gotta fucking change your Xbox name to Donald R. DiCicco. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is your gamer to Donald R. DiCicco? <laughs> DiCicco, welcome to the United States. Oh man, you know what? It'd be funny too. If I ever get a call from a scammer, I'm gonna record it. And when he asks for a number, I'm gonna give him the social security number. <laughs> Oh, two, like a, five, yeah. <laughs> seven, X. <laughs> <laughs> That's like my favorite. Yeah, but he just like says it perfectly. Yeah. Oh, two, five, seven, X. Once <laughs> <laughs> he said X and bad looks at him like. <laughs> you don't belong here. You don't got a social security number? I was like, he has a fucking cone as a head. Like, that's what I love about the movie. Like, everyone just ignores the fact that he's got a fucking cone. 
Yeah. Tom Arnold's the only guy that points it out. And everyone looks at him like he's an idiot. Because he is an idiot, <laughs> but. <laughs> oh my god. Hey buddy, what's with the head? It's like we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh my god, it's just too much. I love Coneheads. Why so am I much. in the games? I want to look at the movies. Where's the movies at? Why is this like Kandahar movie? Why is that like the cover of the Uncharted collection? Kandahar? I don't know. Look, look at the screen. They literally stole the Uncharted Legacy Collection. Oh, yeah. Or whatever, the Uncharted Trilogy or whatever. The Nathan Drake Collection. Yeah, the Nathan Drake Collection. That's the box. Naked Drake. <laughs> Donut Drake. <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons. Honor Among Thieves. Uh, I want to see that at some point. How much or, that's, not, that's not the one. I want to see the uh, Chris Pine one, the new one. My name is Hines. <laughs> Wait, is that the one? Oh my god, I have to keep going back. Oh no, I can. I'm behind, so I could see it. Well, we go down the Chris Pine. Oh shoot! Okay, that movie just came out. Well, it says right here. Well, you can buy an HD or you can rent it in HD. Five UHD. Bucks. If you rent it in UHD, it's seven ninety nine. Okay. It's probably it on um, Paramount Plus or something. I think it's Picard Day today. Picard? Did he go yeah. back to nineteen eighty five today? Yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> They're supposed to announce another Star Trek game today, but I think it's going to be like a strategy game. Can't just give me like a shooty shoot Why game. Why can't Star Trek just be fun and not be fucking nerdy? Because the people who are like it are nerds. <laughs> yeah, but there's like movies and episodes of Star Trek that are really good. That like they have. Oh yeah. In them. And they used to make. Um, like that Elite Force game and stuff, that was just a shooter. Like, I don't know why they don't just make those anymore. Oh, you get The Last of Us on Xbox. The 4K is coming out soon for that. It's out, isn't it? Ford oh, vs. Ferrari, $5? What? UHD? What? That's not a bad deal. That's crazy. Uh, Judge Dredd, the remake. That one was alright. Mr. Holland's Opus, that was a good movie back in the day. He got game. That's, um, you know who's in this movie? <laughs> Denzel Washington. Uh, Mila, jo son of a bitch, what's her name from Resident Evil? Oh, yeah, she has yeah. sex with Denzel in the movie. Damn. If Anthony's chat room knew that, they would stop watching the fucking... Resident Evil movies. <laughs> oh man, Demolition Man's on here. Demolition Man. From Hell, that was a good movie. I think that's like a Jack the Ripper type movie. Yeah, it is. Legend of Jack the Ripper. We got the Rambo movies. Full Metal Jacket, Legends of the Fall. The Freshman. Oh, Speed 2 is on sale. Speed 2? Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Romeo and Juliet, that was a good movie. Even though I made fun of it before. Oh yeah, we watched that one in school. We did too, yeah. Tang on cash. God. Expendables. 
the bucket list, but it's way too much money. The McDonald's movie's on sale. Uh, oh, The Godfather. I... Okay. This is the Blu-ray I bought for my dad, and he put it in the fucking DVD player. And like, oh, no. Broken. And I, I told him, I was like, you need to put this in the PlayStation. And he put it in the home theater system that he didn't use for, like, ever. And he calls me up screaming, like, this thing doesn't work. Ugh. So I don't even know if you ever watched it. This is where oh, they changed awesome. the ending. I have it. I actually have this on Blu-ray. That's pretty cool. Tango and Cash, hell yeah. Tango and Cash, you know. Uh, I like it because it's funny, but it's kind of a boring movie. It's just got the charm, though, that it's, you know, a funny movie. They got the Jungle Book on here. Oh, The Last good... Boy Scout. Man, I haven't seen this in a long time. The Replacements. I remember that. Tommy Boy. That was a good movie. Some of All Fears. That, that movie is nuts. Under Siege 2, Under Siege. Uh, you know, I keep, I kept getting like ads for this um show that's on HBO. I don't even know what it's called. And it's like got this girl and she's always like half naked. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I, I'm like, it looks like Johnny Depp. It turns out it's his daughter. <laughs> I literally was like, why is like this Johnny Depp looking girl like coming up on my like ads all the time? And it's friggin' his daughter. I don't know, man. Which is weird, man. I don't know. Eraser, I never even saw that. I gotta start watching Eraser. some of these movies before I get erased. I know, I wanna that's what I said. I just wanna like shut everything off and watch a movie. Bunch of movies. Oh, Gemini Man, that's a sixty frames movie. Where? It's up there, it's but it's ten dollars. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I bought it because sixty digitally. No, but you know what? Oh. I should bring you that and we should put it on the OLED and see how like crazy it looks. We should. Hard yeah, to I'll kill. bring it next time. I think I saw this up. in the theater. My dad took me to go see this movie. Hard to kill? Yeah. We saw him a Marinick. It was good. I've never seen it. But Seagal, is, uh, he's a lunatic now, so there you go. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to take this movie out. I'll bring it next time I come up. Kick-Ass is good. It's a dumb movie, but it's good. The Last Samurai. All these white guys trying to be Japanese, man. Come I liked on. that movie back then. Mary Poppins. Next of Kin. Patrick Swayze. Mary Ploppins. <laughs> Old school. Over the top. That's a it's it's definitely overpriced. <laughs> Is that what Steven Seagal's Coming and somebody puts a kitten on his head. What? What? A kitten. I need. I need to see that. The racer gets cool towards the end when they break the, at the techie tech guns. Hard to kill was when they like mow his whole house down, and they kill everybody in the house, and they and he's in the hospital forever. Like they kill him and his whole family. Uh, and then uh, he's not really dead, though. They leave him for dead, but they don't know that he's not dead. So he, like, heals up in the hospital, and then he meets, like, a new lady. I think the end of that movie, that's a fucked up movie, though. Because they throw a dog in the middle of the street, like a puppy. Uh, the guy puts the dog in a bag and just dumps it in the street for cars to uh, hit. And he stops and he grabs the dog and he takes the dog. Oh, that's good. And at good the end of the film, 
because the the guy had a um he had a bumper sticker. At the end of the film, they're walking the dog in the park, and he sees the guy get out of the car, and he's like, "Yo, fuck nuts!" And he like beats the guy up. He calls the guy <laughs> fuck nuts though. Oh wow! Above the law. That was um. That was a good one. Out for justice. That was a really. I think um. Was it out for justice or this one? It was out for justice. Where the guy, he's like a, he's like a police sergeant or runner or a lieutenant or something, and the guy, he's so cracked out on coke, he's just killing random people. Oh wow! And Seagal's got to like, basically kill him. Because the guy's so coked out, he's just become a maniac. That's what happened to him, though. Uh, I don't know if he's coked out, but he's definitely <laughs> a maniac. <laughs> he made all the movies as a hero, and he went nuts. Yep. Is that when Seagal's in a coma and somebody puts... Maybe they did put a kitten on his head. I don't fucking know. That sounds pretty good to me. I saw that in the theaters when it came out. When was that? Like 30 years ago? Yeah, at least. Sister Act. They're making Sister Act 3. You know that, right? Yeah, I did hear that. It's crazy. I like those movies, too. They're good, but who wants that movie now? It's way too late. It's way too late. The movie that destroyed Will Smith's career that he's not even in. <laughs> G.I. Jane. Yeah, right. That same the coked up actor was in the movie the movie Stone Cold. Crazy movie. Is that with Tom Selleck? Stone Cold? Stone Cold Tom Selleck. Oh, hell yeah. I want a cheeseburger, Vance. The Peacemaker, this is what everyone everyone made fun of this movie called The Pacemaker. <laughs> George Clooney. Peacemaker. I never saw this movie either. It just didn't appeal to me. Serpico. My uncle was talking about this. He likes this movie better than Scarface. Really? Yeah. I've never seen it either. He thinks Scarface sucks compared to this movie. Wow. My dad loves Scarface, so I don't know. It's a toss-up. Seven bucks. Is it you? Is it HD or HD? Standard. Of course, I went back and it wouldn't tell me. Okay, six nine nine. Yeah, all right. Serpico is great. Okay, I'll, I'll probably check this out then. We hear good things about it. Walk the line. Ah, that movie is fucking annoying. The guy basically stalks the lady until she marries. Oh. Uh. Kramer vs. Kramer. It was a good movie. Marked for a Death by Steven Seagal. Paul Blart 2. When the fuck did that come out? It's not good. I saw the first one in theaters with her. I think we were dating at the time. The second one's bad. Oh, Recess. Didn't you grow up watching that shit? Yeah, I love that show. There's movies here. Yeah, there were, I think there was... Remember two. the Titantrons? I mean the Titans? Rush that movie was so popular when it came out, but I didn't like football, so I was just like, eh. Your sister used to fucking always talk about Rushmore being funny. I was like, this movie sucks. I never saw that either, it's like I don't think. worse than Napoleon Dynamite. Uh. Napoleon Dynamite's better than this movie, let's just say that. Well, I like Napoleon Dynamite. Sky High, I remember that 
when I came out. I never saw the Taken movies. What about Bob? I saw that in theaters. I love that movie. I saw that in uh, Rye Ridge. I should buy. I might pick that up for five bucks. I don't own it anywhere else. Ten things I hate about you. That eh, was okay movie. But what about Bob? You know what's funny about Ten Things I Hate About You? What? Heath Ledger and um, that fucking girl. What's her name? Look, they look exactly the same. <laughs> Julia Stiles? Is that a the same person? <laughs> they look exactly the same. Yeah, Julia Stiles. She disappeared. She did the fucking Born movies, the Born Identity, and then she disappeared. That is it. Uh, oh, my Dangerous God. Minds. That was a great fucking movie. I have that on Blu ray. Dead Poet Society was a good movie. Fatherhood was a good movie. Uh, Let's see. Oh, Father of Bride 1 and 2. Great movies. I have this on Blu-ray. Oh, I forgot about those movies. They're fucking great. Yeah, Steve Martin's funny. Martin Short's in it with him, too. And they had that new show, Murderers in the Building or some shit. Oh. Oh, man. What's he writing in the chat? He's writing a poem in the chat. <laughs> Fucking Shazam, nobody cares. Oh, how much is Joker? Eight dollars. But I got the I got the four K for nine ninety nine last year. I think I I think I have the four K of it. I don't even I can't even keep track anymore. See Martin plays a mean banjo. Yeah, and Roxanne, right? Or in the three amigos. Oh, I forgot about that movie too. That's a great movie. Is that even on Blu-ray? What? Three Amigos. Oh, look it up. Yeah, Supergirls in the Flash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is on Blu-ray for $13. Aquaman. I haven't seen this movie in so long. But I love Chevy Chase. The Father of the Bride movies. How much are they? Uh... Five bucks a piece? That's not bad, but I don't, I got it on Blu-ray. Yeah. They're good, though, man. The two movies are good. And response is good. I didn't see any of the other ones. Whatever I'm not mentioning, I didn't see. Oh, they got the A Team remake. I didn't see that, but oh, where the A Team down Periscope. I didn't see that either, but I remember that. What the A Team? It's the reboot with um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rampage Jackson. Bradley Cooper's in this shit. <sighs> that fucking guy. You know what Bradley Cooper does? All he's good at is smiling like he looks like a woman when he smiles. That's like his claim <laughs> yeah. to fame is a smile like he's happy. It's that big smile. And he looks like a fucking lady when he smiles. Fuck that guy. I like the original A team. Yeah, yeah, no, it's Mr. T. Yeah, you can't beat that. Can't beat it. Uh, well, I gotta go to bed. Yeah, go to bed. I can't even believe I'm still here. I Did have to get up guys in like four hours. Did you see that movie Dan Aykroyd directed back in the day with Chevy Chase called Nothing But Trouble? I had that on Blu-ray. I'm, I don't think I've ever seen it. Let me. See. Humpty yeah. Dumpty's in that fucking thing. Nothing But Trouble. No, I've never seen this. It's like a, a dark comedy. Well, I love Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. Studio so. 54. I have that on Blu-ray. I never watched it. Yeah, I'll check that out. Unrated. What's unreal right. about it? All right. I'll I'll talk to you later. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye. All right. All right. Bye. All right. I'm still here. Let me close Discord. Excuse me.
Let me shut off the Discord. There you go. Sometimes if I leave Discord on in uh, OBS, it does double audio, and I don't know why. Father of the Bride? What the fuck is this? This is like a remake? I didn't know they remade this shit. Or is this supposed to be like a different type of movie? Their father coming to grips with his daughter's upcoming wedding in the prison of multiple relationships with a... Sorry. Bro, I didn't know they fucking remade this movie. That's blasphemy. It came out last year. Actually, it came out a year ago today. Release date 6-16-22. It's 6-16-23. Isn't that weird? Phone number? Address? What? Why is that here? What the hell? All these remakes go under the radar. Yeah, that's not cool. It seems like these are different names, too. Yeah, not a fan of that. I gotta look that up on IMDb. Or Google. Hang on. Look at this. Father of the Bride 2022, a remake. It is the third film version of the story after the 1950 film and the 1991 remake. It says people like it. It was released only on HBO Max. I don't know, man. The Steve Martin one. I, even though the Steve Martin one's a remake, it was pretty fucking good. The Talented Mr. Ripley I did see. It's a weird movie. The Longest Yard I saw with Adam Sandler. I never saw the original Longest Yard. These fucking Ninja Turtle movies were horrible. Michael Bay fucked those movies up bad. The Freshman. Full Metal Jacket. I saw a little bit of that. Not the whole thing. Big Daddy I saw 100,000 years ago in theaters. I had it on videotape. Dumb and Dumber Unrated. Let me tell you something, okay? Who's who's still awake? I'm going to tell you a funny story about this movie. I didn't even bother with the TNT. Yeah, no, nah, don't, don't worry about it. So, listen, Dumb and Dumber Unrated. So I bought it. On, it this came out on DVD. And I bought it. And I'd never watched it. I had it for years, okay? Then, the night that my wife and I, like, went out on a date, the alchemist is here. All right, cool. Listen. Listen closely. So, the first day that I met my wife, we went out on a date. And we went back to my house, and we ordered a pizza and shit. And, you know, she's like, I like Dumb and Dumber. And I was like, me too. 
I have the unrated version, which I never watched. And she's like, there's an unrated version? I was like, yeah. I popped this thing in. Okay, this one right here. Dude, it's fucking disgusting. Okay? And I was so embarrassed. Me, We were both like, oh my god. This is like fucking nasty. Like, this movie is disgusting. What happened? Because we like the PG-13 version, which is what I own on here. Because I have this one on fucking Blu-ray and DVD. And it's just like... They never put the PG-13 version on Blu-ray. They only put the unrated one. It's like Bad Santa. They only put the unrated Bad Santa on Blu-ray. There's some nasty shit in this movie, this unrated version. Whoever cut this movie to PG-13, that guy deserves an Oscar. I'll just say that. This is fucking disgusting, this one. This version of the movie. I saw Mrs. Doubtfire in theaters. That's how fucking old I am. I can't remember if I saw the unrated. So when, uh... Sea Bass fucking... Says, you're gonna eat that burger... And he throws up in it, but they cut away. They show the motherfucker throwing up in the burger. Okay? And then when he goes to fucking... um, When he's in the bathroom, and it says, like, man love at 3 a.m., and he starts to open the fucking door, this guy, Seabass, in this version, he literally takes his fucking dick out. And his pubic hairs are hanging out of his underwear. Like, they show all this stuff. In the PG-13 version, he just breaks the door open and Jim Carrey screams. And they cut away. In this one, he breaks the door open. Jim Carrey screams and he goes, oh, yeah, it's you. And then he pulls his fucking dick out. It's disgusting. And they show his underwear and all, like, his gigantic pubic hairs hanging out of his underwear. Like, they made this, this version so disgusting and gross. And I was embarrassed because I didn't know my wife. Like, this is the first time we're hanging out. And I don't want to think, like, oh, my God, this guy is being, like, disgusting. It's like, holy shit. Like, I had no idea. I just figured we, like, we both like Dumb and Dumber. Let's watch it. We've never seen this version before. So that's the little story, the embarrassing story about my first date with my wife. We watched this crappy movie. <laughs> with shit or something? Maybe I'm... There might be. I can't remember. I literally watched this version once. Well, if you want to watch it, it's $5 on here. Or you could buy the Blu-ray or DVD. I would stick to the one that I own. I'll show you in my movies. A regular one. Actually, it might be over here somewhere. Fucking nasty movie, man. I, I, watch that version and then watch the original version. And you will agree with me, whoever cut that film deserves a fucking Oscar. That guy got screwed for not winning an Oscar. Sometimes I wonder why people even film that shit. Like, it's disgusting. It's nasty stuff. Is Dumb and Dumber the original not on here? That's nasty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about, Alchemist. It's when um he's got diarrhea and he can't leave. I think that seems like extended in that version.
Okay, you might also be talking about the um, the prequel where he's got the candy bar in his pocket and he leaves it on the radiator by accident and it literally melts all over the bathroom. And Bob Saget's in that movie and he just starts flipping out, saying, there's shit all over the windows, there's shit all over my bathroom. It's just the candy bar. <laughs> Here's the original. This is the one you want. Oh, and you can't even buy it. Oh, no, you can buy it. It's just because I own it. This is the one that you want. It says PG-13 right there. That's what you want. Little New Line Cinema over there. I'm surprised the second movie's not on sale. So here's the one with the candy bar. This movie turns 20 this year. Actually, it just turned 20 the other day. This came out Friday, June 13th, 2003. Yeah, right there. Release date. June 13th, 2003. So this movie is already 20. It's 20 years old in three days. You know how I remember the release date for this? I think I told this story. Originally, that was the release date for Freddy vs. Jason because June 13, 2003 was Friday the 13th. And New Line decided to switch the dates for this movie with Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason was supposed to come out on Friday the 13th. June 6th. June 13th, Friday 13th. Yeah. Oh, my God. June 13th, 2003, which was Friday the 13th. But they switched the dates to August 15th for Freddy vs. Jason. This was originally supposed to come out August 15th, right here. But they flipped the fucking dates around. So this is a prequel, but um, the people that wrote the first film didn't write this movie. So when they made the second film, this one, they ignored that movie completely. Because the guy even said, one of the Fairley brothers, he's like, I didn't even see that movie. We just wrote this sequel based on the first film. Way to make me feel old. Twenty fourteen. This movie's nine years old. This was a good fucking movie though. This was funny. There were some callbacks to the original. It sucks because um they're good together, man. They could have made a few more of these movies and they didn't. So Yeah, the Fairly Brothers. It says right here. I have that poster in my basement. I need to see the sequel. Yeah, you gotta watch it. It's good. It's not as good as the original, because nothing's ever gonna be as good. But it's it's pretty damn good. Whereas if you watch this fucking prequel, I mean it's okay for what it is, but it's not a good fucking dumb and dumber movie. It's a stupid movie. All right, well, what else? What 
What is this, all games now? Batman? It's Michael Keaton, man. He's the real Batman. I don't care what you all say. Michael Keaton's Batman. End of story. I don't want to fucking hear it. Adam West was a great Batman on TV. He's he's Batman on TV. Michael Keaton is this Batman. Okay? That's it. That's all I want to say, and that's all you're going to hear. The Mario Super Show's on here? $50. It didn't even cost me $50 for the DVD. All the missing episodes on here? No? $50. Are they crazy? Yeah, He-Man's on here. How much? Forty dollars. You can watch it for free on YouTube. Dumb and dumber. -er -er -er. The movie's stupid because it's about like um the prequel to Dumb and Dumber. Fucking Sherry O'Terry's in that fucking movie. Like, she disappeared, too. Um, the father from fucking um, American Pie and Sherry O'Terry, they're like, he's like the principal and she's like a teacher or something. And they're basically like, they're like flunking kids for being stupid and putting them in special ed so they could get more like funding money. And they want to just get all the funding money and, like, um, steal it and shit. And they find out, like, oh, we're not really stupid. It's just that they're leaving us back on purpose. And they expose them and all that stuff. And I'm like, that's not what this movie's supposed to fucking be. Like, Harry and Lord are just stupid. Like, that's what, that's what it's supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about them... Getting ripped off by a fucking teacher and a principal, you know what I mean? Like, they added, like, this whole, like, story behind it when it's like, that's not Dumb and Dumber. These guys are just supposed to act stupid. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Any questions before I go? <sighs> Man, that train's coming in loud, huh? All right, I'm going to run. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for hanging out. It's VB Trainwreck. He might be streaming in a little bit. I would suggest if you're going to be up for a little bit, check him out. I don't know if he's going to stream, but if he is, subscribe to his channel. Wait for the notification. If not, catch him next time he streams. But Cannibal, it's VB. He's at work. He's not streaming. Okay. Alchemist, Richard, all you guys that are still awake in the chat, thanks for hanging out. ACR. RWK was in here earlier. Liquor Sandwich was here. Eli was here. Cam was here. Mike was here. Uh, Matthew Bonx was here. Mr. Patriot Joel was in here. Jin was in here. All you guys, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. As always, it was fun. Might stream in the morning. Well, subscribe to It's VB. And when he streams and you're around, stop in. Say hello.
What did Anthony have for lunch on his flight today? Um, I don't know, fucking toothpaste. He's got to get ready. <sighs> he had a Joe sandwich on the plane. How about that? All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. I'll be on some at some point tomorrow, so maybe in the afternoon. I got to go to the doctor at like noon, and then I'll be back, so see what happens. Everyone take care. Stay safe. Have a good one. Shout out to Dreadpool. Hope you're doing well, Ben. If I can speak to you. Hope you're doing well, man. Everyone, good night. Peace.